Hello and welcome everyone. We're here with the Crusader Kings 2 live stream and I'm joined by Mr. Jackie Fish. Huzzah! Yeah, fish with <laughs> hands. Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous about trying to teach you this game. I'm nervous about playing this game. <laughs> uh, apparently I have five hours on Crusader Kings 2. I don't know how that happened because I, I honestly have no clue of how to play this at all <laughs> don't, even people with like 50 hours still don't know how to play so. it's ridiculous it's crazy Haxo thank you for resubbing for 10 months in a row you crazy bastard um, also yeah I'm kind of like bottom middle right of the screen today just because I had to come I had loaded up the game and I was like where can I put my my face cam where I'm not going to block a, an important menu of text <laughs> and apparently this is the one spot where I won't cover anything up uh, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, sup, I'm finally playing a grand strategy. Um, hopefully this can be maybe like the start of like a, I don't know, maybe a weekly stream series where Jackie slowly tries, but potentially ultimately fails to teach <laughs> yeah, me anything like about. The, the more likely outcome right there. But if you guys have any tips, especially on Twitch, like, you know, be gentle with me, but tell me stuff. And on YouTube, if if any of you have some good guides, like suggest like what I have watched some other YouTubers. A lot of people told me to watch a Roomba, and I, I watched some of his stuff, and I followed for about half an hour, and then I got confused. Um, so let's let's do this multiplayer thing. Um, connect to ID. What? Oh no, host game. Yeah, host game. Let's and then Lionheart. Pro probably start at like ten sixty six is probably just the the easiest start because you don't have to worry about vikings coming to raid you or anything. Okay, I called the... Um, why am I online on Steam? I didn't ask to be online. Also, uh, just a little disclaimer as well. I haven't played on like the past two patches, so I might say something which may not be correct, so just correct me in the comments <coughs> or the chat if I do say something wrong. Um, Helmez, will I play Vicky 2 and EU4? Uh, maybe. Like We'll see how this goes, basically. So I've hosted it. The password's sexy. <laughs> Cool. So, <laughs> I like that. Tip number one: give up. <laughs> yeah. Tip: don't do what you normally do. What, what's that? What do I normally do? I haven't played this before. <laughs> what is going on? So I've I've host. Oh wait, do I have to host? Oh, yeah, you have to click host. I was oh, like, where's the literally, game? I'm like, oh wait, it's on January eight, six, seven though. Yeah. If you click up the top left. Oh, Stanford Bridge. Stanford yeah, Bridge. There we go. Oh, look at the map. It changes. <laughs> host. And if you want to, uh, at the top, just to make it look pretty, you know, see that little bar at the top? If you click the second one along, it'll Realms. show you. Yeah. yeah. If you click that one, you'll see yeah. that. The thing is, I really like the concept of of um, Crusader Kings 2 and Grand Strategies in general. I'm just shit at them. Like, yeah, it's, even it's beyond shit. Thing. Taking all the drugs does not help. Tip number two. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking beer. I'm actually drinking a beer called 31... Uh, no, not 31, sorry. 13 Guns. Uh, an intense hit of hops, American IPA. Isn't that a Green Day song? Uh, that's Twenty One Guns. Ah, oh, so close. That's okay, a, that cool. is a good tune, though. So I'm in the game now. So who are you going to play as? Are you going to go on Tutorial Island? I assume that would be best. So Tutorial Island, for those that you don't know, is literally Ireland. Okay, play as because that's probably go play as the two count uh, dude in Ireland. He's like the second one up. Oh, the what the king, the, the king of who are. Uh, who uh, are Brian, Brian? Brian. Yeah, yeah, that Brian. one. Because he has two, so you'll have a little bit more King men. Merchad of Mamu. And you'll also have someone to, like, kind of control, so you can oh, kind of have that a little bit. Yeah. So I like how good. when I click on things, I can make a tune. Blum, 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 <laughs> yeah, you end up spending so much time blum, doing blum, that. Blum, 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 um, blum. I'll play as the Duke of Mercia, maybe? Or should I go Northumbria? Because I want to stay close so I can help you out. Wales? If if stuff that, goes will down, that screw you over? Yeah. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to play someone who is going to be a little bit difficult. I just want to play someone easy so I can help you out. Okay. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take this guy. So cool. I'm play as Ua Brian. <laughs> I'm <probably laughs> saying that horribly wrong. I'm so sorry. So sorry, YouTube and Twitch. I'm so sorry. At, at least when you have children, you can name them something. Oh, good God! They're literally going to call be all call Bob. <laughs> all Bob. Like Okay, I'm already up, I'm ready. So. Okay, uh, play. Hendrik NL says he has 1,004 hours in CK2. Yeah, you can fully do that and not get bored of that. 616. Gothmog has 102 hours. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, cool. wait for players. Yeah, sorry, mine just took forever sorry, to load up for whatever reason. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't worry, uh, it starts uh, off pause, so there's nothing... Uh, 
Nothing to be worried about. I'm just still loading. It's been forever since I've loaded CK2. I'm feeling, I'm feeling stressed already. Oh, I actually start off at war. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. I start off at war. There's a battle for Normandy to happen. Mm. A good old Stamford Bridge. Okay, Call my cool. children cat. Okay. When you can, just click start battle. Uh, start. Start. This is start. start battle. Yeah. Start battle. I was thinking of total war here. Yeah. Right. I can see. This is paused. Yeah. Your, so it's paused. Looks now. like it's burning. Yeah. We're we're currently obviously we've got Harold the uh, second. yes. Uh, the king, uh, Duke of Normandy, and the Vikings. So who do so you say got... you're playing as? Sorry. I'm playing as the Duke of Mercia. The Duke of Mercia. Okay. So you're yeah. Edwin of Mercia. Yeah, that's me. Nice. Cool. So the first thing I always do in a campaign is I assist my council or my advisors. Okay. So it's the top left one where your council and you like for you, you want to start fabricating claims with your chancellor pretty much straight away because you want to obviously get de jure claims to capture land. Uh, fabricate claims. Yeah. And so I just choose some land. You click that and then you click on the land you want to take. But obviously you just pick one which is kind of close to you. I'll take the one to the south of me. Yeah, try and unite that. Um, then with my marshal, I normally train troops in my capital because it gives you more levy size and more replenishment and stuff. Train troops. In your capital. Um, yeah, in my certain uh, province, yeah. And then with your steward, you want to collect taxes collect in your taxes capital. In my capital. Thank you, uh, Hendrik, for resubbing for eight months. Spy, spy master, you can build or study tech somewhere else. Like It doesn't really matter. But you can just scheme in your capital, and that's fine. Scheme in my capital. Um, so um, I, you choose the you choose the region you want them to go in. Does it like just all of them give you like a small plus modifier of some various kind? Yeah, so basically, if you hover over it, it tells you, which is kind of nice. Local um, or what on the oh, you've you're no longer in sync. Um, I'm sure it's fine because we're paused. It doesn't really matter. Oh, do you come back into sync then? Yeah, like it kind of reconnects you because normally what happens when you're playing at a fast speed, uh, the date for someone else goes like a lot further ahead than it does for the other person, so you kind of lose synchronicity. Uh, okay. So just ignore that. So yeah, do do all of that, um, and that's kind of what you want to do for your council, and then kind of just look at. What about the, my court chaplain? Um, you just want to put him. What are they called? Uh, just do the first one in your capital. Yeah, the one we can't say. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one as well. I was like, what? <laughs> or so, you can, or you can improve religious relations, like with a pope, which is kind of always good um, to get him to like you. So with the with the whole scheming. Um, Oh, I see. Possible outcomes. Claim fabricated gives what ten point sixty eight percent. So is that a ten point sixty eight percent chance of me actually having a legit claim on that land? Uh, yeah, every single month. It could be a year, but every single month it ticks, and there's like a ten percent chance that you'll get a claim, and the ninety percent chance that you won't. Uh, are they just every single month? Are they just randomly? Will they just randomly appear those claims? Yeah, it'll pop up as like a pop up message saying you have this. Do you want to use it? Yes or no. Because you can choose not to. Uh, okay. Because right. you have to give a little bit of money for it and it destroys relations. Okay, so that's all my council done. Yeah. So now you want to kind of look up in the top uh, middle of your screen. You have all these like pop up things. Like these are kind of the things which need your uh, immediate attention. Ruler unmarried. Yeah, and so. Unmarried heir, pick an ambition, and you can press a de jure ducal claim. So that just means you have a right to go to war with someone. Like they kind of pop up and you don't have to click on them. You can kind of just leave them up there mm -hmm. and hover over them or click them to see what land is yours. If you click it, it will take you to that province, which you can press. Oh, the it's, it's the one south of me, which I was going to. Oh, so you already have that. So you can move your uh, chancellor somewhere else to try and get another claim. Uh, okay. So I've really um, got a legit claim. So how do I do that? I just, just pick him up, do I? Uh, yeah, you, you want to go back to your council. You might not be able to do it because you've just done it. Uh, okay, where is but he? If you, if you oh, find he's it, there. Yeah, so, so oh, if you go on the councillor menu back again. Uh, menu. I yeah. can't select. The, I can't assign a new job until uh, March. Yeah, so you have to wait a little bit to I'll stop you next from, like, year. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, okay. it goes quickly. So, I so marry uh, my yeah. ruler. Yeah, so click him. Um, so to marry him, you just you can just right click and click arrange marriage. Arrange marriage. And then you obviously uh, you click the left one and you pick yourself. Yep. And then you search for uh, suitable wenches to marry. Suitable wenches. There might not be many in your realm, but just when hello, you my lord. Not many of them <laughs> like me. They don't have a good opinion of me. But that's fine. They can learn to like you. She is a close member. She's an aunt of my dynasty. <laughs> Into marriage. Yes. 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 Welcome to Crusader Kings. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Everybody comes from the same family. 
It so gives a whole you... new meaning to we are family. <laughs> it really does. There's so another one who's. Someone... There's another one who's not. What does the number next to her mean? Oh, age. Fucking hell, she's 77. Sod that. <laughs> yeah, if you just that. hover over them, it tells you oh, how old they hell. are. Bloody The other one's 16. I think we should go for the 16-year-old. Yeah, that's probably more This is going to sound so wrong. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Soundboard, Lionheart. Right. Um, so, I just select her and send. What do I... I will... Marrying yeah. a courtier, minus 200. Yeah, so because you're marrying below your title... Oh, yeah. ...and I take a prestige debuff, which isn't... Ah. But you kind of have to take it early on. Like it's just easier to explain this way of finding a wench than it is. There's like another way to do it, but it's yeah. Just okay, we'll get we'll get her. We'll get her. Yes. It, what's this mean? Uh, we've got married. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for ceremonies. So basically, there her father has to pay for the wedding. So you can ask him for some money. So just hover over them and see what one oh, gives. Oh, so I can get 12.37 gold, or I can... No, people respect wealth and get 25 prestige. Uh, you'll probably want the prestige. So that there's a modifier on that. So if you marry a king's daughter, you'll get a lot more money and a lot more prestige. But because you only married a courtier, like her family's name doesn't give you much wealth or... Or, oh, okay. like, power, respect. So I'll, go, so. I'll go for prestige. Yeah, because you obviously took that debuff by marrying Oh, I've her. got minus 170 prestige. Yeah, it, it goes up fairly quickly, okay. because, and because you're a king as well, so that what's helps the, out. What's the chat saying? Da, 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 da. Once you've learned, get a certain Malekith to do a Let's Play. Yes, there's been a lot of, lot of uh, planning uh, and learning. Um, so the fool says, appoint another chancellor and then go back to your first chancellor. Then you can appoint him to another county. Yeah, you, you could do that, but I feel like just learning the basics is probably the best. Yeah. Before we go a bit more in-depth and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we didn't, like, remove any of your other yeah. chancellors or anything. I think we'll like keep it basic to, today, guys, and I'll, I'll mainly try and follow what Jackie's saying. Unless he's, like, said something completely wrong, which will, like, <laughs> totally <laughs> fuck up everything. Happen. Then, like, scream and shout. I know, obviously, some of you guys might be like, oh, there's another way you can do it, and you can get it all sorted in one go. But, obviously, because I'm trying to learn it as I go... Obviously, I kind of need like one overall voice in my head of what's going on. But seriously, keep all the like live advice and like suggestions coming, though, as I am I am keen. Right? Okay. So we've got him married. I've got an nice. unmarried heir, which we need to sort out. So I guess I do the same thing. Uh, for now, you can kind of leave that. That's oh, not yeah? super urgent because obviously he's got like he's probably only like fourteen, fifteen. He's eighteen so, actually. Oh, uh, he's eighteen. He's got a little bit of time. Have you not got uh, anyone I could marry? Uh, not at the moment. My sister's Make somewhere married. in. My sister's married to the king at the moment. Ah, oh, cock. And, but hopefully I'll have... Obviously I got married, so hopefully I'll have a, a son soon we can marry. Son soon. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um, so ambition, next. Want to click that? Oh, uh, yeah, ambition. Um, and then you want to go ahead and click the little, like, thinking bubble uh, to the right of your picture. Yeah. Thinking bubble to the right of Just my... below what kind of, like, my dude's Anglo-Saxon, just below where it says that. Just above all your traits, there's like a little thinking. Oh, I, uh, yeah, see it. Yeah, you want to click that, and this is these are all the ambitions. So you want to kind of pick like a path for your for your your dude to kind of follow. Like, what does he want to achieve? See. Um, so you probably want to click get married because you're gonna immediately do that, and that's gonna give you ten piety for like free, basically. Like some of these are short term goals. Well, we we don't have get married because we we just got married. Um, but you, yeah, it has because we haven't clicked play. It might not have worked yet. Like, uh, I so, don't. Thing. It's I've like two it. love hearts. No, I don't have that one. Ah, okay, okay. Um, so there's plenty. What ones do you have? Hold on, let me just look. I've got screen. amass wealth, become a paragon of virtue, become exalted among men, have a daughter, improve stewardship, improve learning, improve diplomacy, improve intrigue, or become king of Ireland. Do you not have have a son? No, oh, you already have a, a daughter. Oh, have a daughter then, because that, that boosts your fertility as well. So okay. it makes oi, you oi. like to have more sons. <laughs> in the right stuff. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> um, so yeah, now we've done that. That's good. Let me just pick mine quick. Uh, so what else do you have up there? Uh, I've just got unmarried heir, and I can press a de jure ducal claim on that settlement south of me. Or settlement uh, er, territory south of me. Okay, cool. So we, we could click play now, but I think looking at the military tab is probably a good idea. Uh, military. Just because you obviously want to go to war and take land soon. See. So, if you, so if you click military, uh, at the top it will say from uh, Dementi, or however you pronounce that, Dementi, yeah, you pronounce that. Yeah. Uh, that's, that means the amount of troops you levy from your own personal castles and cities. Okay. 
And below that is from vassals, and that's obviously how many troops you're getting from your vassals. Okay. Shellot, thank you for 16 months of subscription. Or Twitch, uh, you're an absolute legend. <laughs> um, and vassals give you more men and more money and tax uh, when they like you more. So uh, okay. it's really important to keep them on side and get them to keep supporting you. I see the bishop also commands a fair bit of force. Yeah, so there's also churches. So if you actually click on a province... Uh, so you just click on whatever province you'll see there's in the left hand side there's a castle uh, a church and a city so oh, obviously yeah, ca castles city, yeah. give you loads of men churches give you more tax I think or give you or just a religious type of building yeah. uh, and cities obviously give you loads of tax which is good um, okay yeah um, I guess the last thing before we start is if you want to click on your picture in the top left hand side it uh, you click on that and you go vassals, and that will show you everyone who likes you, dislikes you in your realm. Okay. Uh, and what I like to do is I like to click opinion and make it so the people who hate you most are at the top. Um, okay. But obviously for you it might be a little bit different because you don't have as many as me. Yeah. But I, I like to do that, and then you want to kind of just try and make them like you a little bit more. So could so I award an honorary title? Yeah, so you want to yeah award an honorary title, give them something... Uh, just to give them relations and you can also send them money so if you have a bit of extra money you can send them that and that boosts it by like 20 for like a little bit of gold which is totally worth it okay I've made this guy regent nice so he now like well he'll now grow to like me by plus 10 the thing is they all like me he's, he's 14 I've got 14 to my lowest and 21 28 oh that's all good yeah you still want to keep boosting it up because obviously the more they like you the more men they give you so you okay. can keep conquering I'll lands keep, I'll give this guy master of horse then and the other one can be master of the hunt. Huzzah! Yeah, and uh, I think someone pointed out in chat, which I should have said, is you only get money from vassals who like you. So uh, if they dislike you, they're, they're, they can just refuse to pay you. I see. And also, the bishops might not even be paying you. They might be paying Rome. Yeah, the, my bishop is paying his tax to Pope Alexander. Yeah, so you're not getting can... anything from there. You can change that through the laws and stuff, but that's fine. We won't it says that I'm not have I don't have any noble vassal tax. Oh, it's probably because you haven't got it in a law yet. We'll enact the law in a second, which okay. is fine. We can look at that. I mean, well, we can look at that now, unless you want to start playing. Yeah, let's look at the law. Okay, cool. So that's the second tab along. Yep. This is actually different from when I played it, but it's fairly much the same. So the first tab in this tab, <laughs> tab and tab and tab. Yep. Uh, the first tab in this is your inheritance law, so how land is split up once you die to your children and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty standard. I think all the most of the Christian ones have like a a standard. Your oldest son gets it. Yep. Or but sometimes it's split. It's split among your children equally and stuff. Uh, but that's not really much too too much to worry about at the moment. The next one is your realm, but I don't think you have a realm because you're a king. And then your next one, which is your laws. Uh, you'll see feudal levy, feudal taxation, city levies, city taxation. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so uh, obviously the, the, higher the, uh, the higher the law is, so if it's max, you're going to get the most amount of men you can physically get from them. Same with taxation. If it's on harsh, you'll be getting the most you can. Uh, uh, and obviously none, none means you're getting none of the tax. Uh, but obviously, okay. when you want to enact these, your vassals won't like it if you're raising taxes, so you'll get a negative opinion bonus, like With them. Uh, modifier. Yeah. But, so, it, but for now, you want to just kind of raise feudal taxes to small. Oh, uh, mine's already it, on normal. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mine's on small at the moment. So My I'll feudal just... taxation's on none, though. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want to change, sorry. Oh, small. Okay. Yeah. Because you get a little bit of a debuff, but it's it's kind of fine. You yeah. start getting money, a lot more money. We should even out because I've just given that guy a plus ten opinion. So yeah, exactly. Out. Um, yeah, I think that's technology. You don't really need to see it right now. Intrigue's not really that important at the moment. I don't think technology. Um, like this is just a modifier. So depending on how good your ruler is, is you'll get more technology points. But it okay. takes quite a long while to actually upgrade this stuff. So so many. Menus. <laughs> so many menus. Uh, the religion one you don't really need to think about. Factions, not for now. Um, cool, we can probably click play. Actually, whoa, how many men do you have at the moment? We'll go back to the military tab because you might be able to declare war already. Um, where do I see number of men? From um, the so, so you, Yeah. Um, so what's the far right number? Max total is 1,421. 
And how many from vassals? Uh, 136. So what, you have like 1,200 men? Yeah. Uh, so this guy has... Let's see, what, what is it? Realm Tree? Realm Tree, yeah. Uh, this guy only has 900, so you can declare war if you want to, straight away. <laughs> where's where's <laughs> Realm? What, what are you talking about? Uh, so if you want to see how many men someone has, oh, it, yeah. it can get a little bit complicated, but you want to click on his uh, province, click on his picture, yeah. and then on the right-hand side, like towards the top, there's a, a little button called Realm Tree. Realm Tree. Yeah, click that, and then it'll pop up like everyone in the realm. But because he's only a one province dude, he doesn't have anyone else. Right. Um, and then you want to hover over at the top where it's like a hundred percent. Total le ah uh, total levy of top liege nine hundred thirty-eight. So that'll tell you how many men he he can raise. So you can kind of get a good idea if you have uh, more men or not. So I so, can have more men. I, I yeah. do have more men. Yeah. So what you want to do is just go on his picture, right click, and you should be able to declare a war. And then declare you click war. When you declare, when you click the de jure claim, de jure claim, yep, and send. yeah, we, yeah, send. So you will, as soon as we start playing, you'll go to war. So it's probably a good idea Sweet. to raise your men to what, get them out now? of the farms. Yeah, so raise them now; they should pop up. So what's that? Where do I do that? Raise local levies. Yeah, so you want to obviously click on the military tab. Oh, military tab. Military and tab. raise the personal levies and your vassal levies. Personal levies, raise vassal levies. So click both of them. Yeah, done both. So uh, the, the longer you have your vassals le uh, men raised, they'll start to dislike you over time. Okay. Because they're like, you're, you're obviously using all my men, so so you start getting a debuff. But as soon as you unraise them, they'll start liking you again. So just be okay. a little bit cautious of that. Uh, so yeah, you probably want to combine your army together. Yep. So if you select all of it and just right click on the, uh, probably your capital is probably the best place because it has oh. a rip defending it. And your men should start marching when we start playing. Um, and then we can combine your men in a second when we're, we're actually together. So we can probably click play now. Okay. And you just tell me when your army's all together. Like it's moved from the other one province to the other. Okay, it's, it's going. It's okay, going. cool. Exciting. God, I'm fighting a brutal <laughs> war already. What people say? Uh, uh, Hel Helmer says check alliances. Uh, that's not really too much to worry about now oh yeah no the irish could have alliances yeah i didn't think about that. that's a good point i don't think this faction does but that's a very good point he also says that the number of men he has is oh to the right of his picture yeah it is yeah levy yeah you can see it if you just select the land he's the land you're about to conquer and then next underneath the castle to the right of his portrait there's the levy tab yeah yeah i'll tell you how many he's got he's got that well he's got more he's obviously he had a few more from one of his vassals or something because they've combined up. Okay, my army's combined. Okay, now we should probably pause it. Um, but now I've just paused it. Cool. So now uh, what you want to do is you want to select your units. Do I just, just select? Oh, okay, yeah, just, just like select. create a box around yep. them. I'm going to raise my men so I can look as well as I'm okay. doing it. Um, and then, yeah, so you want to select the two units and then you want to go to the top bar, which says like your total armies. It says two armies, your three, men. Three armies. Yeah, three armies for you. Merge selected units. Yeah, select that. Okay, army of Taj. <laughs> yeah, so now it should pop up with like your commanders and stuff. Yep. And then you just want to click on the the like no character selected type of thing and just choose your best commanders, uh, which will normally be at the top, just the ones with the highest martial skill, basically. Uh, what was uh, oh, no what, character? No. Yeah, it says no character just below how many men you have, like your men, like the light cavalry, heavy infantry, bows. It's it, says no, it doesn't say no character there. Oh, for you, oh, you obviously already have characters, I I've don't. Got, I've got three. So it, it automatically gives you some, but some might be better. So if someone has like a low score, you might want to just click on them and look in your tab. So if you just click on them. And oh, then one of them's got low morale. Um, that's fine. It's because when you first levy armies, your men take a little bit while, a little bit of a while to kind of get together and raise morale. So that'll go up. Um, so yeah, just click on there, click on the the names oh. and see if you've got anyone who can replace with a higher martial skill. What's the martial skill number? Uh, it's next to the picture and it's also on what, combat the... combat modifier? Um, yeah, I think that's, yeah, yeah, that's their martial. Um, but also in the list, when you've pressed the name, it's under the two store swords and you can just click the two swords to kind of bring the highest martial person to the top. Under the two swords. Uh, it's my current three that I have. They've all got 12. Okay, good. It's just good to keep that in mind, you know, obviously if you've got someone worse. So, yeah, I, I think we're okay. You just wait up there. Now you've merged your troops. Let your morale rise and then get ready to attack.
Okay. Yes, I'm doing stuff. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and click play again. Okay. And we'll, we'll still keep it slow just in case yeah. you have any questions or anything. So should there be anything else that I do while I'm kind of waiting for this or is this just what I focus on right now? Uh, this is what you really focus on right now. Obviously, uh, you can probably adjust your chance on it now, maybe. I'm oh. not sure. Uh, no, it's not. I've got to wait until March of 1067. Uh, okay, so it's still a little while. Still a while. Okay, my morale is going up. One of them's got full morale, the other two at half. Yeah, just wait wait until the, the bar, because you can kind of see on the, the map as well without clicking on the army. It's just oh, the yeah, bar I can next see to it, the, the number. Oh, the total one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Evening, everyone in the Twitch chat. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> so, Regal Go. Holy shit, Lionheart is playing. Finally playing Crusader Kings 2. Yeah, people pe people have been pestering me to play this for years. But it, it, like, I would say it is such. You look at it, and it's such like looks like such a steep learning curve. Yeah, really intimidating with. for sure. I reckon. I don't know if there's an easier way of doing the tutorial or not. I tried, I've tried playing the tutorial a couple of times and I've just about got a hang of it and then like completely forgotten everything. No, the tutorial, like I've never used a tutorial in a Paradox game. It oh. just doesn't do uh, it Vassal well. levies raised too long. Yeah, so this is where your, your people start getting a little bit annoyed because you have them raised. But it's fine. It's only like, it's only like one every couple months. So a minus oh, one yeah. modifier every okay. couple months. Should I right click down. to dismiss that now? Yeah, that's fine. You can ignore that for now. Um, dismiss for now. Okay, um, my morale is max. Okay, so how many men does he have? He has 1,057, I have 1,360. So you have 200 men, is that... Hold on, let me look at the province to see if it's like a hill one. Um, where do I see that? I think you'll be able to win that battle, just because you have better men, like you have more men, a couple hundred, but it yeah. might be a bit close. But Got a lot of heavy infantry. Yeah, so just go for it, and if worse comes to worse, we can just restart. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, what is Jack Jackie Fish is playing as the Duke of Mercia? Yeah, uh, I'm not really playing too much though. I'm kind of just. This just helped me out. Yeah, pretty much because at the moment we're currently getting wrecked by the the Norwegian troops. Oh uh, right. And you Normandy just have to basically yeah. just hold that for a while. Well, Normandy normally always wins a war, and because I'm only a duke, it doesn't really affect me. It just means my new king will be the Duke of Normandy instead yeah. of the previous king. Generic skirmish tactic. Volley nice. tactic, shield wall tactic. So you should just be clashing now. Yeah, we're just clashing. Right. Um, and if you don't have a commander on one of your flanks, you get a humongous morale debuff. So you oh, always right. make sure you have commanders there fighting. Does it look like you're winning it? Yeah, I'm, I'm 1,200. He's down to 900. Nice. And obviously morale is the bar, the green bar going down on each flank. And so yeah, my left flank's not looking good, nor's my right. But then his, his are all down, super low. Yeah. His are, his are like screwed. Minor, minor holding. My center's holding anyway, which I assume yeah. is the most important. Yeah. Um, we got a victory. Nice. So you won. Did you kill his entire army, or is it still running no, away? Did it no. route? They've, they've routed, I think. So you probably want to chase them down, just so okay. that they can't kind of annoy you anymore. So if you hover over them, it should tell you what province they're going into. Oh, they've gone into my one. Yeah, so you just want to follow them into it and catch just them and kill keep, them. keep chasing them. Yeah, well, if, if, they, if they really start running away, just ignore them. Like, if they try and leave that province, yeah. just ignore them. But what you can normally see, if you're chasing a enemy army down... If you hover over your army and their army, there'll be two dates for when they're going to reach a oh, certain Oh, yeah, he's province. gone. He's gone. Yeah, so just stay in his province. How many men did he manage to get away with? 800. And how many do you have? Uh, 1,175. Oh, uh, yeah, you should be fine. Just stay in his province and start sieging it. Uh, how do I do that? You just sit in the province, and if you have more men than his, than his garrison... Oh, uh, his defenders, I see. It will start ticking down. I see. And this does kind of go on for a little while, but it's not too long. Like, obviously, okay. the more men he has, the longer it will take. And if okay. you don't have more men than the garrison, you won't be able to besiege it. Okay, is it just my Twitch or... I'm hoping... Has my stream stopped or is it still going? Uh, for me, it's on my second monitor, and for me, it's still going. Okay, it's just on my second monitor. It's just, it must have paused. Yeah, still working for me. Cool. I'll just go quickly check it. 
Probably have if I didn't have it on like source quality. It's probably <laughs> yeah. Let's put it back to high. There we go. I don't really need that. Right. No, I was I was thinking with this like maybe I could I could probably stream it in like 1080p at 30 fps because it's not like 60 fps going to give this any kind of bonus. Yeah, for sure. It's not going to make it look that. Warcat much more says watching him is making me learn. <laughs> I think to be fair, in the in the nice way possible, like I watch some people's let's plays. I actually don't think they're necessarily the best way of. But it depends on the let's play because I don't think they're necessarily the best way of actually learning something like this because in a let's play, like, oh, what's this? Fate smile, f uh, fate smiles, fate smiles upon my wife. Uh, she's pregnant. Way. Well, that's good. So um, obviously, in nine months she'll spurt out a sprog for you oy to oy. name. Spurt. Um, but yeah, I think with like let's plays, you generally the the at least in my experience, you know what you're doing when you make a let's play of a game most of the time. Apart from XCOM 2, that's the exception to the rule. <laughs> I'm learning that as I play. Oh, I can go back into my home province and kill these guys. Um, it's probably best just to keep sieging them for now. Because okay. they'll... Like, how much is the, the thing ticking down? Uh, uh, like, not much. It's it's barely ticked down. Okay. I mean, we are playing pretty slow, so... Maybe it is best to... Actually, no, because it's a river crossing. Like, river crossings and hills do play a part. They give you a negative attack bonus. Okay. So, terrain does actually play a part. And because, obviously, you can see a river going through your main place... You probably don't want to attack into it. So just keep sieging. You might lose a few men, but his he's, army's... Also. He's besieging by... Uh, but by the looks of it, he doesn't have enough men. No, he doesn't have enough men, so no. they'll kill him eventually. Yeah, yeah. so he'll, he's just not doing anything. So just keep keep besieging it. And you never really want to assault. So if you have, if you select your army, there's an assault button up the top. Um, so if you have, like... I think the, the average is if you have 10 times the amount of defenders, you can assault effectively. Uh, where's assault? Uh, it's like a little sword on where the province is titled, just above the amount of men of the attack. Oh, attempt but, assault. But never click that. <laughs> like, it's you normally need to have about ten, uh, ten times the amount the defenders do for it to be uh, effective. Okay. But you'll get slaughtered if you try with you know not that many more men. I see. So but yeah, I, th I think with streams like this where I'm where we're taking it like pretty slow. Then you guys can just, especially when there's so many menus, you're like, ah, what is that? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I did watch a Rumba starter let's play, and I still was like, what the hell? I think it's just <laughs> with this, I can kind of stop, pause, and be like, Jackie, what does this do? Yeah, exactly. I and think... if you ever, if you ever do want to pause, just press space bar, and it will pause it. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I guess whilst you're besieging that, we can talk about the intrigue menu. Oh, so... I can. Um, sorry, I just think I could put my um chancellor on someone else oh yeah do that um you probably want to go for let, let me look for someone easy is the connor connac chat <laughs> the one um, to the, the north of me because the, um, the two to the like the east of me the same one or uh yeah yeah go for that guy he doesn't have any allies at the moment the one I don't think. above me connor yeah connac. yeah that guy yeah that one that um i don't actually know what these packs do because i know they released a, a a free patch with the latest dlc and you can make like non-aggression packs with other people and stuff but i haven't actually explored that yet and you can form alliance shellock was saying that apparently the latest patches pretty and dlc are pretty much screwed up the game oh, okay so i don't know um, if that might have affected a few things yeah so there, there's like a few things i don't know but we'll just try and brush past them and like, as yeah. long as you learn the main game that's the main, main game yeah, I think maybe maybe once like we've done the stream, maybe I will go back and like rewatch a Rumba's start a let's play because maybe it will all make a bit more sense. Yeah, I know you have but, a rough idea. Like, the first time I was still like, ah. <laughs> That's so I true. think this is I think this is a game that you have to. Um. I think you have to keep kind of working at, otherwise it will seem like an insane, like amount. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, as you're besieging that, we might as well look at the intrigue tab. Intrigue. So that's that's the knife and the letter up the top. Yep. Uh, so you, you don't really need to do plots at the moment, but you can click on it, and it will come up with loads of things you can do, like kill certain people. But you don't really need to use it at the moment at all to kill anyone. Okay. There's no one you dislike at the moment. And that, that will just show you your active plots over, because you only do one at a time. So that'll okay. just show you what you're doing and who's joining and stuff once you've got one. Uh, decisions, this will come up with like uh, like special events you can do, like hold a feast. Feasts are good for making people like you. Decisions, hold, oh yeah. They're like, yeah, so feasts are good for making people like you. They give you good relations with people if they, if they already like you. 
sometimes it can be a bit shaky. You can do some stuff like spill a drink on someone and they can dislike you more. You know, know. just ran random events pop up. Oh, but okay. there's all. So I can I can um, buy indulgence for my sins. Yeah, that will give you penance from the Pope, like ask for forgiveness. But it's really expensive, and oh, I don't yeah. think you've done anything wrong at the moment. Anyway, no. to ask, I can have a uh, a debutante, a young noblewoman appear at my court. Oi, oi. Yeah, so that's like so the nobleman, the holyman, and the debutante. Them ones are to try and get new characters to your court. So if you're kind of got really bad commanders or something, yeah, you kind of click these to try and get a better one. But it takes away a bit of If I want money. a better bishop or something like that, I choose yeah, that. Yeah, but, but it's random, so you might not get a good uh, guy. Okay. So it's kind of a bit Promote risky. Promote commander. Um, I don't actually know what that one does, um, but I assume... Promote a soldier from the ranks of your army to lead the troops on the battlefield. Yeah, so I guess it just gives you another character with good command. But I don't think 12's okay for now for you, so you don't really need to do that. Um, Helmez says the uh, Regal say check mean and alliances. Um, what mean? What's mean? Mean. I don't mean men. Uh, yeah, no, no. your alliance. Normally, um, for alliances, it's just you click on the char character page. So what you want to do, I think this is right because they changed it a little bit since I last played. But so you click on the person you want to find out about. Uh, click on this picture, and you should go to packs. It's down the bottom next to family relation vassals court packs abroad. So, sorry, what? what, what? <laughs> Sorry, I was speaking a little bit too quick there. Uh, so click on the person you want to find out about to see if they have an alliance. Uh, okay, I'll click on this guy. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll click on his on his portrait. Yeah, click his click his portrait. Yeah, and then at the bottom, uh, where he's got his like family relation. Oh, Pax. Yeah, you go to Pax and then hover over the picture above the relation number, and it should tell you what they have. Non-aggression pact. And why they have that. Non-aggression pact is made with the following ties and marriage. Non-aggression pact is made betrothal and betrothal. Men so is on the characters per... Ooh, sorry. Uh, men is on the characters to page as well. Oh, you meant men. I'm confused. Look at the other local lords in case you're their heir, then plot to kill them. <laughs> that's that's a bit complicated. We don't really need to, to go into. There. There's a square to stop all plots next to known plots. Oh yeah, you want to click that as well. That's just where's where's that one? Uh, so at the bottom of the intrigue tab. Oh, oh like I've middle. had another son. Oh huzzah! Oh what god, it's call called him? Rog Galak. You can change that by just obviously uh, clicking on it and backspacing. Rog, Rog get rid of Galak. It. What an awful name. Come here, little Rog. Rog Galak. Let's call him... What should we call him, chat? What shall we call him? Quickly, give me some names. Give me some names. <laughs> Quickly, chat. I know there's a delay, so I've got to wait. So I'm like, ah! <laughs> How long will I be playing? Uh, we were planning on playing till 9pm. So that's in like an hour and 20. Hopefully that gives me plenty of time to get stuck in. And if you guys have enjoyed this, and if Jackie's up for teaching me some more next week, we'll do some more then. Yeah, for sure. Call him Bob. <laughs> Humble Pear said, call him, call, said Spade. Timmy. He's, uh, it, it's called OD. He's already adjusting his children as it. <laughs> Filthy bastards. No. Um, um, call him Little Fish. <laughs> Roggy. I actually quite like, like calling him Little Fish. <laughs> going to be called Little Fish. Awesome. Decided. Little Fish is my son. Oh my god. If he becomes heir. King Little Fish. <laughs> right, that's done. So I wanted to check the... What was it? Oh, I think my game just might have crashed. No! Not good. But what you can do is you can save it. Just press escape and save game. And we can load it right back up. Save. Yeah, no. I, th I think it's just crashed, unfortunately. Okay. That's the only problem with is it really unstable? multiplayer games. They can be unstable sometime. Unstable Especially like Total War multiplayer. <laughs> uh, play Disconnect. Oh, it gives me the option to save it as well. That's cool. Yeah, so make sure you save it. Oh, uh, it should be fine. But the unfortunate thing is uh, you have to load up. Actually, no, you don't have to load up a game. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll play a game. Because uh, like every game you play gives you a different code. So you can only play with someone who's played just as many games as you can. So what people normally do is restart the game so they're on the fresh checksum. Oh, uh, I see. So I'll just I, jump in. I'll just I quit jump now, in. Do I? 
no, you, you can stay on. I'll jump into a game and then I'll jump out and join you. We'll take like... Also, if I hit continue, that's fine. Uh, no, just go out of that. Go Just go to the main menus Quit. and then okay. re-host it. Are you sure you want to resign and go to the main menu? Yes. yes. My score, yes. minus 83. <laughs> Don't worry. I that'll rolled be, for one years. That'll be mighty by the, the finish. Way. The new patch did this, apparently. Okay. What made it unstable? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, so, do I load game then? Uh, yeah, then load game and then find the save game on the left. Yeah, got it. And you should be fine. I've just resigned from new a game. So... Crusader Kings 2 patch live just now. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, well, we'll see. If it, if it keeps crashing, maybe we'll try it out. But uh, Okay, and what? Do I choose the Stamford? Choose the, the save game. It should be like a date. Oh, load load game. Yeah, and just find the latest oh, okay. one. Will be load. <clears throat> oh, so oh. I can, oh, that loaded the actual game, and then I can continue as anyone else from that time if I want to. Uh, yeah, anyone, anyone over. That's yeah. awesome. Right, I've hit play game. Is that right? Uh, no, that? you've just loaded it up by yourself. Oh, shit. I'm not in the game. Okay, so hang on, hang on. You probably, you pro I think you do need to reset the game as well. Unfortunately, it's kind oh, of do I? Yeah. Okay, I quit the desktop. It's pretty frustrating. Brb, but... guys. After the first time, it loads up pretty quickly, so we'll see on your computer or load up. A new patch quick. just went like I wonder if a new patch has actually just gone downloaded. I'm not seeing any new patch. Uh, not nothing's tried to download. And Steam's normally pretty good about this sort of thing. Hey, and are you wearing sunglasses? No, these are um, these are these are gaming glasses. That I actually need to make my review on because I've had them like long enough now. I should probably make a review. Um, if you guys have ever heard of something called Gunner Optics, they're like kind of premium gaming glasses. Basically, they have a filter in them which stops the the blue light you get from monitors, um, stopping you from blinking as much, which means your eyes are more likely to dry out, which means you um, more prone to headaches because your eyes are, are being strained. Uh, so what this does is it has a filter in it which blocks the extra blue light as such and makes you blink... Um, more regularly, uh, more normally, and so your eyes don't dry out, therefore you shouldn't get any eye strain and headaches and stuff. So, kind of clever. Uh, I want to do, do I want to do hit multiplayer first? Um, so yeah, once you've loaded up your game, just go to multiplayer and host the game. Whoops. I'm loading the game again! Huzzah! Damn it. Yeah. Uh, that's, that, yeah that's the only annoying thing, oh, the downside. Oh, it. Accidentally quit the desktop. I can't even manage the the actual menus, guys. <laughs> but how, how are you feeling so far with the? Um, this makes a lot of sense of what we're doing so far. Yeah, but there's it... like so many menus. That I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're we're slowly getting there. Like I think we're taking it at a nice pace. And whilst you're besieging a castle, you can kind of ask questions and do other stuff. Okay. Uh, host game. Yep. And just load the game up again. But don't click play, just click host. Okay. Password 23. Cool, cool, cool. And then load game. Is it no longer sexy? It's no longer game, sexy. Because it crashed. It crashed, yeah, it's no longer sexy. Oh, why is this... Ah, oh, this is the thing in Crusader Kings 2, it just tries to turn me online. I see a salad that's just messaged me. Bye, Caesar salad. Who <laughs> calls himself Caesar salad, seriously? Have you hosted yet? Uh, yep. Uh, did you click host? Uh, hang on. In the right hand side. Oh my god, why is everything loading up? Ah, host. Dun dun dun. Cool. I will find it and join. Okay, I've got my I've got my chap. Oh, it's actually a pretty good idea. I could just observe you playing. Instead of actually playing myself. I could then I could actually see what you're doing. Okay. But if, if I am an observer, can I still see all the tabs and stuff? Because obviously I'm not 100% familiar with them all myself. Oh, you didn't load up the right game, by the way. They're not. <laughs> you loaded up the wrong... Oh, no, it's probably just because I'm loading it. Don't worry, actually. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Because you you're on 4.3%. Yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> I thought we were playing as the, the old god start. Uh, hell no, you're on 7.1. Get Gallo Glass. Alliance with the Scots can work out in the short term, assuming they don't fracture like they often do. Irish have no honour, of course they would marry the Scots. <laughs> Am I going to EGX? Uh, to Resd? Uh, I will be there on... I think I'm aiming to just go there on the Saturday. 
So, yarp. When we save games take a little while as well, but hopefully it hits a percent and should just speed right up. Because when I when I played it in the past with multiplayer, it kind of speeds up towards the further it gets towards 100. After the first generation, you'll be strong enough to backstab them. What? <laughs> so much espionage. Yeah, that's something you just don't really have to worry about right now. Hmm. I had, a, I had a friend who said he literally just went through so many different bits of espionage and like fabricated claims over he ended up like controlling like half of Europe in the end. Yeah. Because he that's just when, had all the inheritance. Yeah, in. really. That's when it starts getting crazy when you marry into someone and then they become king and then you kill them and then yeah, it just gets mad when you really get into it. A lot of people seem to be blaming the new patch for this. Yeah, I guess it would make sense. A new patch! They're not normally the most stable of things, unfortunately. Mm. Ba, ba, ba. Hopefully the game has your son saved as well, so you don't have to rename. Hopefully, yeah. Our little fish, yeah. Hopefully yeah. He's, he's fine. It says that we're loading into 24th November. Yep, I think that's the right date. Cool. What beer am I drinking? I'm drinking uh, 13 Guns. It's like a World Beers thing, like box that I got for Christmas. And I'm finally drinking. So what are the victory conditions? Uh, <laughs> don't die of the plague? There, I don't think there are actually any specific victory conditions. It's just play until the end of time, like the end date, which is 12 something, maybe? Or maybe no, maybe even made it longer. Like maybe it's like fourteen something, fourteen seventy five. So like four hundred years, and you just play until that ends, basically. Hexo says thirteen pounder guns or just thirteen guns. Uh, well, it looks like it's a it's a pretty big gun. To be fair, I don't know what caliber. Um, let's say it's. I mean, let's say it's a twelve pounder. You need to get on some naval action. Yeah, and start man. using the twelve pounders. Oh yeah, I need to start playing that as well. Yeah, for sure. I, I think I put in like 40 hours when it came out, like just yeah. playing it for like two, three days nonstop. Nice. Um, and now kind of my workload's picked up a little bit, so I haven't had much, as much time to play it, but it's super fun. We were we were roaming off the Jamaican coast just looking for Spanish, and it was like a super immersive game when you're actually playing with a whole bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, it does sound good. I'd mean, be mean to message Malekith because I know he's got like a, a clan together or something. Yeah, that's what I'm playing in at the moment. Oh, yeah, awesome! Yeah, yeah. I need to, I need to hop, hop, hop on sometime and play with you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh yeah, those of you aren't getting the Isle of Man joke. Uh, that's from the uh, Viking Conquest series, where everyone is just telling me that I need to abandon my kingdom and go and conquer the Isle of Man. So, <laughs> to be fair, that's probably how the like the Let's Play is going to end on that one because I'm going to that everyone's I'm going to rebel if I don't get London Wick when I try and ca capture that soon, and then. Uh, I'll probably just have to flee to the Isle of Man with my wife and probably get killed <laughs> in a siege. That sounds awesome. So, if it's a sandbox let's play though, I'm quite happy to end it there because we've done enough like different things. Yeah, so, it's been it's been good fun. Uh, people in chat say that it ends at 1453. Yeah, I was close. 1470. Oh, you're in. Yeah, there you go. I'm already up, and we should be able to go. Sweet. How do I do it? Uh, you just click play. It should be on um, uh, play. Yes. Bum bum bum. Loading game. Finally back in. Okay, I like it. Ross. And then just start game on the seat on the screen. <laughs> so a week for players. Oh, there we go. All players are here. Right. What did uh? How do I check about my son? Son, 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 son. Children. Uh, yeah. Little fish. Mac Merchad. Yes. <laughs> what a name. Nice. What a name. So with children, it's something to keep a good eye on. Once they're six years old, you can start teaching them, and you'll have to assign someone to do that. So uh, just, yes, just keep an eye on him until he becomes Should six. I get um, my son? He's 19, my heir. Should I get him married? Uh, yeah, you should indeed. So if you want to, do you want to form an alliance with someone? Would that yeah, be... sounds good. Sounds okay, good. cool. So now you just want to kind of look around Ireland or Scotland, I guess, if you want to go to Scotland or even Wales to find an ally um, and just try to find someone with an eligible daughter. So just by clicking on their portrait, going to children and just seeing an unmarried daughter. Okay. Could I go to like one of the 
Irish lords in the north? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Just go ahead and give you some support. Um, do they have any children? No, oh. great. But if they're, if they're not that far away from you, obviously you want to kill them eventually, so you don't really want to... Maybe it's just better to go to... Okay, Scotland. Scotland, because Scotland, I can't... Scotland, laddie! We'll go to Argyll. Um, they've got two children, but they're both... One of them's two, and the other one's one. I'm not sure my 19-year-old wants them. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not... Uh, no one... No one has any children. Clydesdale, no. You don't really want to marry into a crappy count. Where are all the daughters at? Hey, where are all the daughters at, bruh? Want me some daughters. What about up here? Okay, uh, well, one of the things you can do, this is kind of a little bit more complicated, okay. but what you can do to find women is just Holy. under the, just on the, under the map, yeah. uh, there's like a tab, there's like main menu, ledger, uh, like their pictures. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you want to go to find character, which is the furthest one along. Oh yeah. Uh, find character, and then this is kind of where you can just find all the people of a certain category. So you can find women, obviously. Uh, so no, you just want to kind of adjust all these women, but all these buttons, uh, buttons to what you want to look for. So women in prison, no. Uh, married, no. Ruler, any doesn't really matter. Any, uh, yeah. probably your religion and culture, which would be my religion and my culture and adult. Yes. Um. Well, it doesn't or, really matter if they're sixteen, okay. like fifteen. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're underage. No, Jackie Fish says it's okay. <laughs> Guys, mean, a night out pulling on the town with Jackie Fish. <laughs> Zing. Yes. Uh, like you'll be able to eventually find them, and then okay. uh, it should come up with everyone who is that category. Okay, search Stuff. search all? Uh, no, just search realm for now. Okay, and what, do I just hit enter or? Yeah, it does it automatically. Oh, the, there is like, F all. Yeah, okay, maybe they search. They all hate me as well. Because, oh, that's not good, because search. search all kind of, people don't really like to marry outside of their country, so it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah. But you, you, can, you can look and I find. Look. And then, like, the best thing I do is I click to find someone with the best skill in a certain thing. Okay. So just click like the scroll and it will give you the best person in diplomacy. Or you click the two swords and it will give you the best person in martial. What should I be going for? Uh, commerce is, I mean stewardship, sorry, is pretty good because the more stewardship you have, the more land you can have. So just find someone with the best stewardship who is best liking you. stewardship, okay. Okay, well, there is a 17 year old with a minus 21. That's fine, but they grow to like their other half. Um, uh, they've, they've got a combat modifier. Yeah, that's just, that just means they've got some, some martial skill. But women don't normally command, so... Darn. Yeah. Um, so once once you find someone eligible, just right-click on them and arrange marriage and arrange it like you did previously. Well, there's but a 16-year-old, and she's got um, 10 intrigue, but she is slothful. That, that's fine, like, as, as long as you have a high stewardship. The 17 year old actually looks a bit better, even though she's minus 21. Oh, I say she looks a bit better, actually. Her portrait looks like she's got a <laughs> big fat lip or something like that. Uh, what's her stewardship? Her stewardship is. 8. 8. So you probably want to find someone with a better stewardship than that. Uh, the best one I can get is 9, and she's 65. Oh. <laughs> Did you click on this, the chest? Yeah, maybe chest. click it. Maybe click it again. Maybe yeah, it's still nine, mate. Oh, okay, so I guess yeah, just marry. <laughs> I mean, actually, go go to diplomacy and see if there's someone with a high diplomacy. Yeah, this one, she's got twenty-one diplomacy as well. Yeah, so. Odd. Oh yeah, go for her then. Go for her, right? Should just I, just ri I right-click on her and hit ar arrange marriage. Arrange marriage, and then you want to go ahead and find your son in the. Find my boy. I found him. Yeah. And then uh, send. Oh, what? Yeah. I'll get minus 200 from marrying a courtier. Uh, your son will, not you. Ah, so. okay. <laughs> so, like, Everyone, I, I love the chat at the moment, sorry, is just saying, the 17 year old is the best. <laughs> the best option. <laughs> love it. Okay, sending. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, we're paused at the moment. Um, yeah. My um, levies at the moment are minus 7 because they've been raised for a while. That that should be fine because you must you must be getting close to destroying the castle. Yeah. Oh, it's the, oh I see. It's not the number of men that goes down. It's the their, their morale. Yeah, the morale. Oh uh, yeah, the morale is at like uh, a sixth left. Yeah. So you should be taking that, and the quicker you start to like the 
the further down it is, the quicker it goes. Because it's kind of like they're starting to break through the walls and, you know, cause issues. The castle's starting to get unmaintenanced. I see. It looks like the war for England is going to be lost. My liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your suggestion that they are to be married. Huzzah! Nice. I just realised I was meant to release a video on YouTube saying that we had gone live an hour ago, so it's a bit pointless now. <laughs> yeah, we've let's, got... let's let's delete that. But it does remind me that I really should upload my Maratha video for today, because <laughs> otherwise that's not going out tonight. Uh, two seconds, peeps. Did render. I need like I swear I need like a minion, but I can't afford to pay said minion. <laughs> Did this last time. You need to have a, a small child, and then get them to do it. Small child. Sounds that sounds just about legal. <laughs> legal. <Well>. Uh, <laughs> right. 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 Auto saving. Okay. Oh, she's arrived at my court. Yes. Yeah, so they should be married now. You can find out by clicking on your portrait, going to family, and clicking on your son. Uh, and it'll there. be more. Yes, he has a wife. Nice. As a wife, good for you, son. Well done. Well bloody done. And he 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 dreams of becoming marshal. My son mm. does. You can see, like, compare his marshal skill to your current marshal skill. So yeah, I guess what's your state besieging? marshal is nine. What compared to my one? So uh, if you go to your uh, counselor tab again. Uh, counselor, counselor, counsel. Yep. Yeah, and you can in click oh, appoint. I see. Yeah, and you can no. find better people. Ah, uh, appoint. So just compare, obviously, their stats. So the chancellor does diplomacy. The marshal is marshal. Uh, a steward is obviously stewardship. Ah, uh, yeah. There's, no, so there's no one better at the moment. Yeah, uh, and then uh, you have to click individually for each each position. So just check that out, and then you'll have to re uh, remove them once you've if you assign a new one. Okay, so he's got a diplomacy of 13. No, he's my best one for that. I think I've probably got all my best ones, to be fair. Yeah, it normally does give you the best ones. The battle for England Victory! Is, is raging on at the moment. Victory! King, King Harold versus the Duke of Normandy. I've, so yeah, I've now won. you've taken that, uh, but you've only taken the castle at the moment. They're oh. the hardest to siege, so the church and oh, yeah, uh, church now. the city will go down a lot quicker, just because obviously they're not meant to live out in a siege. Okay, so, so the morale will go down cool. as well. Um, on the right, in the right next to your map, you should have like a, a war, like so, like who you're at war with, I guess. On the what bottom right mini map? What? Yeah, next to the mini map. So oh, oh, fifty four percent. So that's if you click on that, that will tell you how much you're winning the war. Ah, uh, okay. So that's kind of like I mean, it will show you like what battles you had and what sieges you had and stuff. And this is kind of what you need to get this to a hundred to make them surrender to you. So you just do that by taking their land and beating them in battles, or capturing them in battle. So how, what's, what's the amount that they need to... to... 100, sometimes it's a little bit less. Okay, uh, so when it gets to 100 I can offer them peace or something like that? You can offer them, you can enforce your demands, which is taking their land. Uh, I've already got offer peace, so I assume um, I get more options as... Yeah, it should, they're, they're probably greyed out at the moment for you. There's only offer peace on mine showing up at the moment. Oh yeah, you click offer peace and then there's another tab. I think. Oh, enforce demands, offer yeah. white peace, or surrender. Okay. Yeah. So obviously white peace is nothing happens, surrender is you give up, and enforce demands is you enforce your demands. Okay, yeah, that's going down really quickly on the air. Uh... Yeah, it, it does. I mean, we can probably s maybe speed it up a little bit. How's my morale of my defenders doing? Oh, they're doing fine. Yeah, but the defenders are, are just casually chilling. Okay. They don't really take this. There's, there's a few events where they lose some men in like skirmishes and stuff, but nothing to worry I'll about. Mine up. Oh. Okay. I'll slow down a minute. What's this? The stubborn baron of oh bloody hell somewhere <laughs> is getting is really getting on my nerves. My wife uh, sensed my irritation and offered to give me advice on the matter. Her diplomatic skill saved me many times before. We have the option to. I hope she can save me now for. Minus five percent local revolt risk, or I can work this out myself and gain ten prestige. But uh, her opinion of me changes by minus fifteen for two years. Uh, let's see how much she dislikes you at the moment. Uh, at minus sixteen at the moment. <laughs> um, 
y listen to her, I guess. I mean, okay. it doesn't. Your wife's opinion doesn't really matter yeah. that much. Like you I'll can listen completely. To her. Uh, but um, oh, we'll my nice steward. Di oh no, my cousin died of smallpox. Yeah, there's currently plague running through Ireland. You can see that because there's like a, a gross green cloud like above the cities. Yeah. And you can see plague. I can't see green. Zoom, zoom out a little bit to the north of Ireland. Oh, I can see some, yeah, some yeah. funky clouds up there. Yeah, that it's basically safe is safe in the plague. south. Open council position. Oh, my chancellor died. Yeah. Okay, right. So we want diplomacy for him. Yeah. Uh, this person holds claims to these titles. Mamu. Moon, moon, mam, mam, moon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if you ever get lost on what to, what the person needs in that position, you can just go on the main position council tab, and it says next to the number, like the picture, is what they need. Oh, what through? So if you ever, if you ever like, oh, what does a marshal need? Like, what skill does he need to be a good marshal? Oh, it's the, oh, it's the main, the main one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you can just see. Uh, fabricate climbs over there. Actually, no, wait. Oh. oh, damn, I mean, meant to put you over there, mate. How do I see how much fabricated claims we've got in that place? Uh, uh, it's it's not like a, a thing which builds up. It's just like a uh, every single month it has a 10% chance of popping. And if it doesn't pop one month, the chance doesn't go up. Oh, I see. It stays at 10% or whatever percent your dude has. Uh, food and supplies have been smuggled in. To the city. Yeah. At last. They won't hold out for much longer, don't worry. Hey, rookie Alex. By the looks of it, William will be the new King of England. Beautiful. So, are you, where are you then at the moment? Oh, I'm just chilling. I'm not really doing anything. I have no part in this war. So, so are you staying out of it? Yeah. So we will like you have to like bend the knee or something like that. Uh, somewhat like I'll I'll probably get an option to go independent or rebel or just say yes I want to go with a new king once okay. this war's over. But the war's still raging on. Like the Norse haven't been defeated yet. Uh, Harold the fourth. Oh was it? no! Someone's got smallpox. Oh, that's not good. My nephew. No, my poor beloved nephew. <laughs> As, oh, as, God. as long as it's not your immediate like heir or something, you're... I could imprison you. <laughs> <laughs> Confine him. Confine him to the tower. These bloody defenders have taken an absolute age to kill. Yeah, we are playing a little bit slower, so you can probably just click it once, and it'll okay. go up to two, and that... you know, that reasonable stacking. pace. Yeah. That's Unhart's what people normally play at, at multiplayer. Unhart's family is dying. <laughs> Little do you know, it's all me. More. So are you just like <laughs> spreading pox to my lands? Oh yeah, I can see all the clouds on the everywhere except my territories has. Oh, and the one to the north of me. Yeah. Is I do not want to go to these. Oh, that's my vassal over there, isn't it? Uh, or, 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 something. Yeah, he currently has plague, unfortunately. Oh my god. Well, it seems like this has attracted quite the crowd. Have you got, got a fair amount of people? 126 viewers, which is pretty darn good. Nice. For Crusader Kings too. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, guys, uh, definitely gonna do this again next week. I don't think I've got time, unfortunately. So many things to do this week, and it's Valentine's Day of the weekend. So us uh, relationship men gotta <laughs> gotta wine and dine the lady. You hey, I'm me. getting wine and dined. Oh, is she, is she is she wine and dining you? Yeah, of course. Oh, fish done well. <laughs> I'm a poor student. Oh right, what's happening? Oh, loot, loot. Protected by Fort Level. I think this is, the, is this the final part of the siege now. Uh, yeah, basically you kind of uh, there's like a there's amount of money a city has. This is kind of more for Vikings, basically. Okay. Uh, so when you go and raid or when you siege a castle, it has a certain amount of money which you can kind of gain from attacking the castle. I see. And but a certain amount of that you can't get until you take the castle. So it, it kind of, it's kind of a trade-off. If you want to be quick, you want to jump in there, get as much money as you can, and then run away. You can't take as much as you would unless you just stay there and take the castle. Uh, okay. So it's kind of like you pillaging the countryside. I see. So it's got to wait for it all to go, the loot possible amount to yeah. go down. 
Well, but that's not that's not too important. Oh no, you actually have everything. So do you have a hundred percent on your? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, so you click that and offer, offer peace, peace. And, and enforce demands, and that should go to you. Oh oh oh! Auto save. So normally it auto saves the first of January every single time. Uh, select enforce demands and send. Yes. There I you go. War. Huzzah! You. I taken... have won. I've so taken he... some lead. <laughs> he That's... probably he probably hates you right now. So you uh, need to be a little bit cautious of that. He is my vassal. Uh, it's only minus twenty-seven. So you probably want to give him a title and send him a, bit, a bit of money. Honorary title. You can be my cup bearer. Uh, and how do I send him some money? Uh, it should just be another option. If you right click, so go on send his gift. portrait. Yeah, send gift. That's it. Send gift. I will give him 15. How much do I have? Uh, top right. It's the first one. Uh, 64 wealth. Okay, yeah, I can afford that. Yeah, so do that. And it will give you like 25 relations, which is quite a lot. Yeah, his opinion of me is now minus 11. Yeah, that's cool. And just keep, keep working on that. Whenever you can, give him a gift, give him a gift. Should I l get rid of my armies now? Yeah, so just go back on the military tab and click the dismiss personal levies and dismiss realm levies button. And that'll kind of just get rid of everyone. Okay. Nice. So this county in the south now will now provide me levy. Yeah, levy levies. and money when he likes you, which shouldn't be too soon. Okay. So how much money do you have? Uh, 48. So what you will probably want to do now is hold a feast. Obviously, if you were just victorious, you want to go ahead and celebrate that and hold a mighty feast. Uh, so I do that in the intrigue. the intrigue, yes. And you want to go to decisions, and it should be there. I'm not sure if you can. You have to wait till like December, maybe or November. To I, hold it's it. grayed out at the moment. And if you hover over the question mark, it will tell you the conditions you need oh, to meet. It needs to be at least November, and I, oh, I've got to have a prestige of a hundred. Uh, what's yours at the moment? Uh, Prestige is minus 12. <laughs> minus 12. So can you go on a hunt? Uh, how do I do that? It's in the same tab. Oh, okay. Oh, I go to hiding. <laughs> um, I can do... I can hold a summer fair. But you can't. I, think I can't go on a grand hunt it's because not September. it's not yeah. September. So we just wait a little bit and then you'll go on a hunt and that normally gives you prestige if you yes. get some good options. Monthly prestige, 0.5. And obviously, the more you war, the better prestige you have, more battles and stuff. Ah, I like it. So I've taken some land. Yeah. I have Southern Ireland. -ish. <laughs> You're probably the most powerful dude in the area now. Um, what, but obviously, what a, what a but obviously, you lost some men in that war, so you need to give time for your men to replenish. Yeah. Make some babies. Celebrate the the success yeah. of war. Exactly. Wenches <laughs> got some full bellies, and you know, men go around giving wenches babies. <laughs> yes, sounds like a plan. In a in a um, oh, what do you call it? In a, but get their permission first. Yeah, consensual. Consensual. That's it. Consensual baby making, please only in my kingdom. Um, uh, where are you where are you being wined and dined at? Um, I'm not really sure. We haven't really decided. We're either gonna like just stay in and buy a buttload of takeaway and watch Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh my well, god! I wish my well, girlfriend for Valentine's would be watching. Like I, we like not like I reckon I, I could get away with getting like a, a butt ton of takeaway. Yeah, watching Lord of the Rings would not even be in the top one thousand. <laughs> yeah, of oh, course. We that's amazing. Lord of the Rings. That's amazing. You've, you've done well there, sir. You've done well. Yeah, really? Um, I think we we might be going to London. Yeah. We've, um, we might be going like go go to London for the day, and she really wants to go to Madame Two Swords. Yeah. So we might go there and like have a look, have a look round, or or just go out for a nice meal. We haven't quite yet decided. No, oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll 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 go somewhere nice. Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, should be good. It's kind of annoying that you don't have anyone in your in your realm with a daughter. Oh, actually, she's just been born. So hold on, where is he? Okay, I can do the grand hunt away. Oh yeah, do that for sure. Um, you I will find the white stag. <laughs> Yeah, good luck. If you do, you get a load of prestige, so hopefully you do. But it's quite unlikely. Oh, says the dogs have got the scent of a boar in the forest. It's the chance of getting a mighty boar slain. Gain 5 prestige if the peasants finish it, or 10 prestige uh, if I face it alone with my spear. 65% chance of no effect. 10% uh, chance of me gaining the trait diligent. 10% chance of gaining one mar marshal. 10% um, chance gaining the trait wounded. <laughs> or 5% chance of being maimed. Okay, so it's probably worth it to do I'm that. I'm going to risk it, yeah. Yeah, because it's only a 5% chance. 
Um, uh, tell me, I, I paused it because you were going. I don't want to like speed it through. So yeah, might... I've I've just moved my um, chancellor back to the territory in the north to get okay, try and get good. claims there as well. Um, probably slow it down to one just whilst you're on this mission, just because some events pop up kind of quickly. Okay. So yeah, that'll be good. So yeah, normally it's worth doing that because it's such a small chance you do get maimed. It's you know worth going yeah. for the bigger amount. So can I become the king of Mamu, or um, is that what I am right now? I'm king of. Uh, you are the king at the moment. But to form bigger titles, what you want to do is click on your like kind of territory, yeah, um, and then click the the coat of arms in the top left. Oh, petty kingdom of Mamu. Yeah, so that's what you are right now. And right. if you want to go ahead and create the next one, yep. Um, oh, actually, oh, yeah. We well, would create the What's next this one. Come up. Oh, you My liege, that first. You are. You may live in harmony and content. I have to, oh, I'm out in the woods and I see a mighty stag. What are the odds? Five prestige. Um, I have discovered a plot where Earl Miradak of something seeks to fabricate a claim on the petty kingdom of Mamu, your humble spy master. So, do you have any options? Because that's the dude you just conquered and he's trying to take your land. Uh, no, I don't have any options. Nothing else came up. Uh, so just click that. Uh, so click that to go away. I'm trying to think what it pops up with to tell you. You might be able to imprison him if you go on his picture and right, right click, click on him. I uh, can end plot. Uh, click that first because he might just go. Gives. Okay. Demand the. And what does it say he'll do? No. Okay, cool. So you go back and just right click on him. And if you click imprison. Click imprison. Him. Click that, but then look on the right hand side. What do people what are people's reactions gonna be? It should tell you. Like uh, are they Are they gonna be unhappy with you because you imprisoned him or right hand side? It just says uh, that there's the thirty five percent chance of success. Okay, and that's it. That's all it says. Cool. There's so nothing pe else coming so up. people shouldn't be pissy at you. Sometimes if you imprison someone unlawfully, people get angry at you because yeah, you're doing it. There's no other menu popping up. But because he's done it to you, like you have a right to go kill him. Oh, so, oh, oh here we go. Since we have evidence that Earl Muradak is the leader of the plot, no one will object. Yeah, so that's, that's good. So send. Yeah, send that and you want to raise your men because he just rebelled. Uh, so, but you Failed find to capture him. Yeah, let's now that's... raise his flag in a rebellion. Two arms! So raise your men, and then when you take him out this time, you'll just take the land for yourself. You'll kill him, and... Or his, his son might actually get it, I'm not sure. But his okay. son should be more obedient. Send so these guys to my main province. And just click click space when you're ready to continue. Okay. Um, there was something else we were going to do, though, wasn't there? Um, was there something, was something in the middle of doing? Um, I'm trying to remember... Oh, it was betroving your son. Yes. So the dude in who's a little bit north of you, he has two lions as his coat of arms. To the north of me. Uh, Brenner Finnick. <laughs> Brenner, yeah, I see it. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Click him. He has a, a zero-year-old daughter, which you can probably, if you want to get an alliance with that dude. All right. You can like create a betrothal. Arrange betrothal. Yeah. With uh, little fish. Yeah. Eh, uh, little fish. Like, uh, he says. He says no. Oh, what a loser. He doesn't know what he's missing. So just ignore that then. We could, there's no need to do that. But that's how you betroth to children, kind of okay. like create a good relationship so with another lord. If I want to do that, would how it would, like, would I just need to increase relations with the lord? Yeah, with the that Earl. guy. But so normally, I... normally you want to become the king of Ireland, so you don't really want to make any like alliances in your immediate area because you're going to be taking that. So land. in this situation, if I if I did get the betrothal to his daughter with my other son, yeah, could I then plot to kill the earl? And then yeah. would have passed to my son because if he doesn't have anyone male. else to inherit it, it's just his daughter. So yeah, at the moment, yes, but obviously they can have another child. <laughs> like six, sixteen years. I feel years the power. I feel the power. But yeah, yeah. No, probably wars quicker, I guess. Right, okay, we'll, we'll yeah. forget about that then. Um, okay, I hit space so that my armies can get cool. together. He's got so. nine hundred and eighty-nine men, but the morale isn't that high. And you have. I have when my men combine, it'll be. Let's see, let's just speed up a little bit. So the Great Hunt is over. Oh, let me just slow it down then. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Witcher. This is a truly noble. Yeah. Uh, gain 10 prestige. Okay, so I've done pretty well out of that then. What have I? Nice. What am I up to? I'm on 18 prestige after all that. Good. So the more prestige you have, uh, the more people like you, up to 200 prestige, I think. So each 10 gives you plus one relation. 
with the pe with your like battles and stuff. So it's good to get 200 prestige as soon as you can because it kind of gives you the most relationship with them. I should check the box in the intrigue tab that stops all plots. Yeah, that's what I should have. Where, where oh, is that? Where I, is thought you, box? I thought you clicked that. Sorry. Oh, auto time. stop plots. Yeah, you want to click that. That was. Uh, so will that automatically go to him and go end plot? It would have beforehand, but because I don't think he wanted to end it anyway because you asked him. But so would that automatically go to them and say you have to stop this? And if they went yeah. no, then something else would happen. Uh, yeah, most then of you'd the time, get a claim to it. imprison him, basically, like okay. you have done. Oh, I've got 588. We're going in. You got 588 men? Versus, yeah, versus uh, 992. But you're outnumbered. You don't want to attack that. Why well, am I outnumbered? You said 500. Oh, sorry. 1,500. Oh, yeah. Make sure your morale's high, though. It might just be worth just sitting until your morale's high. Okay, I've merged all my men. I got, yeah. I got keen. I got keen. Make sure your morale's up high and you've got commanders on all your flanks. And then when that's done, yeah. go to all. are all there. I've just whacked it on really fast. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, yes. Morale. I'm liking... I think it's, I really like this game. Yeah, it's just tough to get into, but I'm enjoying this. Yeah, for it's sure. Good. Slow conquest. And and the more people you have, the better it gets. Because in in my Game of Thrones multiplayer game, which I used to do on this, you know, yep. when everyone's playing as Dawn, the Reach, there's loads of backstabbing. Oh, nice. And there was there was one thing we were playing in the Clash of Kings, so we had Stannis and uh, uh, all the rest of it, just everyone basically. And I was playing as Dawn, and I managed to convince the Reach to backstab the Crown. And yeah. support me because I was going for my independence as Dawn. So I was at war with the Crown and we were fighting. And then the Reach Army, they brought 15,000 men to the capital to go ahead and say, Oh, I'm on your side. I'm going to help you. And then they declared war and oh, just wow. the capital for me. <laughs> and we just won the war. Like, where could we capture the king? It was such a like Game of Thrones type That's of thing. That's beautiful. Yeah. And it was planned from like episode one. And this was like two hours into the game. And we were all like just creating my spinning my web. Damn, my army's ready. It's moving in. Okay, good luck. You should smash him, though. He's got, like, an extra thousand men than his. Yeah. Because you smashed him with only 300, so... But unfortunately, you're going to have to go ahead and besiege his castle. But because you've just sieged it, it shouldn't be as long as it was last time. And we can just speed it up. Now, there's nothing really for you to do. Faster! Uh, <laughs> Whoa, defeat? What the hell? Where did you lose? Did you lose that battle? Yeah! Well, you had my full morale, right? My morale must have gone. Yeah, maybe you didn't have a commander on a flank or something. Maybe it just got rid of it by mistake. The okay. hell? That's not good. How many men do you have left? I have 1,162 against 787. Okay, just fall back, make sure your morale goes all the way back oh, up. Oh, they're fleeing north. Oh. My whole men. Your men, yeah, eventually they'll stop. Well, am I not going to piss off these guys that are marching through their land with an army? Uh, no. No one really cares about that. Like, what it's, the it's, hell? Someone on the flank must have broken. Yeah, maybe they died in combat? Could have. Yeah, could've perhaps. Performed. I don't know what happened there. He had commanders. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe you didn't. I, I know I've got three commanders still. They're all the same ones from last time. Oh, I don't so know them. None of them have died. Unless it's just one of their flanks broke. I mean, I, my guy in the center flank's got 18 morale. I think it's my left flank that keeps going. Yeah. I don't know maybe if I should swap them around or not. Um, no, it doesn't really matter too much. Well, there's, there's can you some assign people... Can you assign more men to a flank? Um, you can re... Well, let me actually raise some men where I'm not being attacked. Because I've got a thousand in the in the... I think it's because the left and right flanks only have like 26 and 58 men. Uh, there's a button up the top somewhere where you like spread out your men, but I can't remember where. Oh, yeah, okay. This is what you need to do. You need to click where there you got your light infantry, pikemen, you know, that little bar. Click the arrow at the end, which is reorganize units. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and then auto balance units, and it should hopefully. Uh, where's auto balance? Auto balance. Uh, top right, yeah. <laughs> Did it change much? No, not at all. I've got a thousand in the center and twenty six and fifty eight. Okay, that, on that's because your king has a thousand men. They're like his personal. Oh, men. and I've put so, my other lords on the. Yeah, so he's not really going to give any of the men away, which, right. which is fine. Like, that's not the end of the world. If worst just, comes, if yeah. worst comes to worst, I can just send you money and you can buy mercenaries and you can win your war. Like, okay. that's no. My morale's back up again, so I'm going to go in for round two. Yeah, good luck. And if that fails, I'll just send you money because I have plenty. Yeah, you need some. 
Manga Mott says I need to reorganize. I don't know if I need more men on the flanks or what. But you, you can't really do more yeah. men on the flanks, unfortunately. I assume, I assume like one of my flanks just completely collapsed in that. So. Yeah, I mean, just watch the battle this time and see yeah. what the problem was. It's always like... Okay, right, their right flank is, is crippling. Their right flank is gone, pretty much. Nice, nice. Yeah, they're... I say, yeah, this is that the same for them. Their right, their right flanks... I've got more men. Their left flank has a few more men than I do, and my centre's just dominating them because yeah. I've got like double their numbers. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what should happen. Like your centre should make up for your flanks being weakened. Yesterday's losses on this flank zero. Oh, yesterday's losses minus one. Oh, minus three. Oh dear. Oh yeah, there we go. We've broken their left. Nice. Because what happens as well? There's like a skirmish phase for before the battle where not much really happens. It's just people shooting arrows. And then after like a couple, like a day of fighting, they'll then go in for the melee, and then the numbers will suddenly just drop, obviously, because they're victory. Melee. Uh, guys, Jackie's playing as Mercia. That's why he says he can send me money, but he's mainly just he's just a, staying out of the war that's going on in England at the moment. Yeah, I, I literally haven't touched anything. I'm just here to to help right. you. His it's... army is up oh, back into mine. Where can I see currently? Where can I see where they're going to again? Uh, if you just hover over the army as it's marching, doesn't. Uh, oh. If they're stand, if they're standing still, it won't tell you, obviously. Yeah. But if they're marching, that's where they're. You just hover over the coat of arms at the bottom next to them. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll arrive there at that time. Okay, I see. Yeah. Right, so I've just got to stay here now, and besiege them, and finish them off this time. So does that mean every time you have one chance to, re for the Lord to redeem himself, basically? that you conquer, and then if he decides um, to betray you, you go in and kill him. Well, that's, like, I can't remember how it how it completely works, but I'm pretty sure if you have a de jure claim, so if you get a claim on Kanak, mm. ta, or whatever that is, from your chancellor, and you take that land, it will just become yours, because it's your personal claim. Uh, okay. But because you have a de jure claim, that means that the province is in your kingdom. So because you are the king of whatever you are... Yeah you have a right to that land because it's in your kingdom and you have a majority hold of the kingdom. Right. Oh, yeah, because it's de jure and de facto, isn't it? Yeah. De facto so, means I could go straight in, claim it, it's mine, what it yeah. done. De jure is like... It's, that's of, of the day, isn't it? You're, in yeah. that particular instance, you have a right to it, but it isn't yours outright because... Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. So that, that's well, something coming, to keep in mind. They're coming back. But, Thank I mean, you. you have the high ground, Anakin, so you should be fine. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> you underestimate my power. I, I, I've always said how like the best Sith Lord wouldn't be Jar Jar, it'd be Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> like, imagine if he was actually a yeah. Sith Lord and he created Anakin to do what he does by him dying, kind of setting him on that path. You know, he purposely died to Darth Maul to corrupt. To corrupt Anakin. Yeah. That'd be amazing. JJ Abrams, please. <laughs> that, that's fine, man. Got more. I, I, yeah, I only had three groups in the in the whole army. That's what I had. Um, so you can probably speed it up now whilst you're sieging. Obviously, it's not. Yeah. We'll whack it up but, triple. But obviously, as because you killed a whole bunch of his men, you're gonna be, have a much easier time. Nice. Oh, who's the king? William is the king, and he has asked me to command his armies. Oh, look at you. I am now the Marshal of England. My Marshal's awful as well. <laughs> A daughter has been born! Huzzah! So I oh, actually... wait, oh, wait, no, wait. That's to my heir. Uh, that's still good, though. It's still cementing your family tree. So if you die and your heir dies, there's still someone to take oh, over. I've got a budget deficit. Oh, that's not good. It's because you have your men levied. So how much money do you have? Uh, minus one. Um, what, actual money money? Actual money, money, minus one. Okay, cool. I'll send you a bit of money Wealth. just to help you out. Wealth but if you, if you hover over it, like, obviously, when you have your men levied... Um, Thank you. Obviously, when you have your men levied, they need paying, so you oh, can't yeah. lose a lot My more monthly money. expenses... Monthly balance is minus 2.46 at the moment. Yeah, but obviously, once you take the castle, it'll go back up it'll to positive. Because we'll be getting money. money from those lands. What's yeah. this whole, like, build a new holding? Is that worth doing? Um, I don't think you can afford it right now. It's like 700 gold. Oh, a um, castle. So is that yeah. like so either you, more troops can be levied, city for more wealth, or temple for more piety? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That is the case. I'm not too sure about the temple. Ooh. Uh, 
Kaiser Heinrich the Fourth of the Holy Roman Empire has set up Pope Viga Reich as an anti-pope named Pope Martinez the Second. That's awesome. Go look into Italy on the map. You can see the anti-pope, the Holy Roman Re- uh, Revolt. Revolt. Oh, nice. Sweet. Right through the papacy. Damn, he's taking a lot of land. Is that land gifted to them by the Holy Roman Empire? Uh, no. But actually, oh, no, actually, I think this is just a revolt. They're fighting. Like, these people have revolted against the, the emperor. Um, I'm not really sure where his anti-pope is. Maybe it's actually in uh, actually in their capital. Yeah. Well, wow, I hope um, I've got a one child is without guardian. Uh, cool. So your son can now be educated, which is good. So what you want to do is you want to right click on them and right click on your son who needs educating. Yep. Educate child. Yeah, educate child. And normally, like I think they've changed it in this patch or the past couple patches. But I think to be safe, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pick the guy with the best marshal because you want your son to be a warrior. Yeah, I think it's already picked someone. It's suggested tag who has 18 martial skill. Yeah, so you and just he is, he's my best one, yeah. Yeah, so if he is, you just Send. click that. Uh, but if you want to change it and have a look to see if there's someone's better, you just go ahead and click on it, the portrait on the right and it should bring up a list that you can choose from people. So for sons, I guess I always want them to be sent off a marshal. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, it's just the best thing to do. So how do I see, like, is that is that doing anything? Uh, so yeah, at the moment, there's like percentage chances that he'll get an event to give your son a trait. So you can go check in and find out by just clicking on your son every so often, like every couple months just to see. Uh, but yeah, your, your steward... Well, got any traits. Yeah, so basically the dude will be getting events saying, this your son, Little Fish or whatever he's called, did this. Uh, do you want to give him like a select amount of traits and then the guardian will choose from the traits you know some are good some are bad okay I'm just educate should, I see, should I see any kind of relation between tag and t- tadged brother not tag tadged and my son or not uh, I don't think so okay uh, it should be fine uh, if you click on the person who's uh, teaching your son it will be like it'll be somewhere hold on let me click on your page uh, your son Oh, who, who even is it? He your was it like your nephew or something? It was my son. Oh, what little fish? Oh, you can do it from three years old now. Before it used to be six, I but I so. guess I think it was little fish. Yeah, it is. So I guess you can start teaching them three years younger. They've changed that since I've last played, because uh, originally it used to be six years old. So yeah, if you if you click on your son or the other dude, it should say educator next to parents and grim grandparents in the bottom. On yeah. your son's oh wait, no, no, no! It doesn't let me do tag. It says he has to be at least six years old. Okay. So I don't know what that was before. I thought I sent it off. But well, no, so you have. Six. He does have an educator right now, but it's you. I think. I think you're educating him. Oh, yeah. Am I? Yeah, uh, you're currently educating. It's probably better for you just to educate I, your son anyway. How, how do I check that he's educating him? Um, you click on his. You click on his picture. Or oh, my son. Yeah, and right hand side, educator next to grandparents. Oh, okay. Yes, that's me. Uh, I, yeah, so see that. I guess you're you're teaching him at the moment. My liege, I've arrived here. We've never been. There's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troop stationed here. Under our guidance, we believe fame and fortune awaits us. Your marshal. Let us hope so. Gets levy reinforcements, giving the nice. following effects. Just means your your people replenish a lot quicker, which is good. Nice. Especially because you're at war. I'm actually going to send you another gift as well, just so you don't go into debt. Thank you. Much appreciated. It's no problem. Just your sugar daddy. Guy, look at your fat little face there. Huh? <laughs> I look pretty. I've got like pretty like I've gone for Breaking Bad goatee with my guy. Yeah, you're pr- you're pretty manly. Wards, mate. Use eyes. Yeah, I know. I don't have eyes. Oh yeah, it was under wards. Oh no, he's not on. He doesn't show up as much. It's not. It's not wards. Wards different. It is under educator. Yeah. Don't show up because he's my son, so he wouldn't show up as my ward. But is that how you educate a child, a uh, child of another family, to be a ward, or is there a become ward option? Uh, maybe there is. It six years old. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we've got to wait until my my son comes of age. 
well, my other son, because I've got a son that's 23 at the moment. There you go. Is there anything I should be doing with him? Harold is almost defeated. Nice. Uh, with your son? Yeah, with my heir. Should I be doing anything with him? Sorry, I, I'm the Skype's lagging a little bit. Yeah. Sh should I be doing um, anything with my heir? Not really. Son? There's nothing immediate for you. You can give him land, but you haven't really taken land yet. Should I give him an honorary title? Uh, no, not. Uh, yeah, you can do. Let's get him to like do a little bit more. Uh, I can't give him any land. I could. Can I? Yeah. I can't educate him. I assume. <laughs> no, he's too old now. I think it's from like six till sixteen. You okay. can educate them. Oh, hail Lionheart! Hello, hail, hail, man. It's pronounced Taigu. I'm Irish and I happen to be playing a game based in this period of history. I've studied this. Oh yeah, thank you, Hawkey. Taigu. Oh, cheers for coming along, Regal. Much appreciated. So, you probably speed it up now because obviously we're not really doing too much just to get on two or three. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. Decreases the speed instantly. I'm not really sure. Maybe our connection's not great. Uh, try stick it on two and see if that works. Try and see if we can sneak with that. Nice. Uh, it says, oh, hell, Jackie Fish is lagging. Yeah, uh, a little bit. I guess our internet connection or something is a little bit crappy together. Yeah. Uh, but two, it's on two right now, so it should make it go a lot Take quicker. Take revenge on fish for betraying you in sins. <laughs> I didn't betray anyone in sins. <laughs> I've been peaceful in the middle of a galaxy the entire game. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I don't think I could suddenly take on Jackie right now. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea. I think I'd get wrecked. Royally wrecked. T oh, not Taigu. Tiger. Tiger. Victory! Okay. Oh, you've taken the castle. No. So now we've got to take out the bishopric. There's two more things to go. Ah, uh, bloody bishops. And just keep an eye keep an eye on the percentage as well, because you might gain 100% before taking all his land. Like, maybe oh, if you capture him or something. 22% at the moment. Yeah. Like, no normally, if you don't fight any battles, it's just if you get all his land, you'll get 100%. Oh, it won't even let me upgrade. I'll increase the speed at the moment, it says you're lagging yeah. behind. Just stick it up to two if you can, try. But if not, I guess my internet's being a little bit crappy, so just take the other ban and kill. Skype's kill. lagging a little bit. How's the Maratha upload? Oh, Jackie Fish is no longer in sync. Oh, uh, just pause it, and we should hopefully get back into sync. It is paused yet. What did it say? Uh, but it will if you hover over the the date. It should say what date we're both on, and then um, once uh, yeah, we're, oh, we're, we're on, on the same, same date. One. Yeah, so we can just go ahead and click play, and it should be fine again. That's cool. Uh, the Maratha campaign is fully uploaded. It's just processing at the moment. So that is entirely up to YouTube whenever it decides that I've been good enough to have my video processed. But it's a lot better now than it used to be. So should be done soon. Maratha, Maratha I would have thought, will be out in the next hour. So keep your eyes peeled for that. William is conquering the rest of the land, the, the Danish left, as they as he defeated the army. He's soon to be the, the unchallenged king of England. Nice. So you're just, you're just a duke under him now? I, I'm also his marshal, though. I'm actually currently leading 2,900 troops. Damn, nice. Them, taking back, actually, my land, so which did is he, kind of funny. So did he give you that... Did he give you that... Uh, th those troops that were... Uh, but we're not my troops. I can't actually command them. He still commands them, but I'm just the character leading them. Ah, uh, I see. So they're still his men, but I'm uh, one of his commanders, like leading the army. Oh, so then you get control over them? Yeah. Well, no, you just get like bonuses and stats for like fighting oh, okay. his army, obviously. And he likes you a lot more because you're fighting for him. So could you work to incite all the other lords in a rebellion against him? Yeah, fully. Like and one of the best. You. Yeah, okay. one of the best things to do when you're already in a pre-constructed like uh, kingdom like obviously you're not you're in Ireland and it's all counts and stuff but for somewhere like England or France it's always good to kind of marry him with another duke get them on side and then try and 
muster the other dukes to, to like yeah. go on your side because if you have one already married into your family and likes you they're going to always support you my half brother died no what did he die of poor health <laughs> an assassination from Jackie Fish <laughs> sniped <laughs> Sherlock do I like anime uh, yeah I don't really watch much to be honest uh, but I, I like I like it I don't I just don't watch oh, what's this special minor traits grantable ooh What's uh, this? I should know. Oh, minor titles. Yeah, you can give people. It's on your council tab. You can give people other positions. Okay. Which like give them bonuses to certain stuff, like opinion and salary and Designate prestige. Regent. This one will also. They already go into the ones that they'd want. Yeah. Yeah. So you just you click on the designate thing and you choose someone. Yeah, does that make sense? Oh, designate. Oh, so the ones that are already under it already are there. I see. Yeah. I don't have a cup bearer. You just give that to someone who makes like just to improve relations. Because obviously, the more your vassals like you, the oh, better. I'll do it to my vassal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone and else. Oh, there's no commander. Yeah, just select someone with good marshal. Would it be wise to give it to my heir? Would that give him more marshal over time? Um, or not? maybe. Uh, yeah, it's probably always good to do that. It's better than nothing. Because it gives them more money as well. So if you do eventually die and they have a whole bunch of money, you get to keep that money. Okay, so I've got four commanders now. One with 18, one with 10, one with 10, and my faction heir with nine. Nice, that's cool. He is considered a decent commander. And, um... Tiger is considered a masterful commander. Cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, Am I considering thanks. doing any Let's Plays on this game? Um, well, what I'll probably be doing is I'm exporting this over to YouTube. So I'll probably continue this as like a learn to play. I'll call it like Crusader Kings Learn to Play with Jackie Fish. <laughs> like part one, and then we'll stream again part two. Well, I might, I don't know. I might st I might split this up into multiple. Actually, no, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just export the whole thing over because to be fair, it would get a bit. We probably need the whole thing in its entirety. <laughs> So I'll, I'll export like the whole two hours over and then you guys can view it on YouTube and then part two will be similar. We'll try and get it together next week. Try to stream like a little bit more often. If we can, we'll see how things go. So you've just got the city left to take now. Okay. Little fish doesn't sound that, that fierce at all. All hell, little fish. Conqueror of Britain. Oh, you just wait. wait you wait till he becomes a big fish. <laughs> Yeah, and then he's scary. His son, who will be called Big Fish. Yeah, his son will. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Victory! Yeah, so obviously enforce your demands if you can, yeah. You still have the church to. I mean, the city to take. Yeah, I've got 54% at the moment. Yeah, you'll be taking that soon. Well, as soon as you take the city, you should take it, which is fine. Um, and then yeah, you'll imprison him, you can execute him, you can castrate him, I think, and you can also mm -hmm. blind him. Can I send him to a monastery? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can as well. It's pretty common. Yeah, like you can kind of just decide his fate. Okay. Um, I I reckon we should probably just kill him. Yeah, obviously he's a traitor to the crown. Treacherous bastard. I definitely would be up for playing like a Game of Thrones version of this. Yeah, for sure. Like it's it's, it's a lot of fun. Is there a Lord of the Rings one as well? Uh, there is, but I don't think it's as developed as the Game of Thrones one. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool as well. Yeah, for sure. Like I I've played the Lord of the Rings one when it was in like kind of very early on. And it, it was still super fun. But like Aragorn would lead an army of like twenty thousand uh, people against like a hundred thousand orcs and just slaughter them. Damn. Like, the balancing wasn't really there yet. But I mean now it could totally be there. It's been like a year since I've last played it, so yeah. it could Sherlock be a lot more solid now. Sherlock says the best thing to do when you win these revolts is to revoke title and then execute or banish them from the realm yeah that sounds about right that's that what i would normally good. do because then okay. you once you revoke the title you actually get the land okay cs um chalk i hope you enjoy the export on the youtube <laughs> oh yeah yeah crusader kings 2 says shane i don't know if that's your accent or not but it is now start adopting <laughs> Learn the accent, boy. I might try and put up to two speed. Yeah, go for it. Oh, what's this? Uh, you should invest in a technological advance. 
Oh, so you have reached uh, a high enough amount of tech points in a certain area to go ahead and get Oh, so something. I can fill a square somewhere. Yeah, basically. So go to technology and see what one it is. Um, uh, I think you normally get to see by just hovering over it, maybe? Advancements in your capital province of my home one, but I don't know if it's... Is it so if you, go on with if you go on with technology tab... Yeah. Technology tab, yep. Yeah. And then... You oh, oh, it's only... They're only showing up in the military advances column. Okay, so that's what... You've got enough military advancement to do it. Uh, I think the best thing to do is just improve your heavy infantry, if you can. Okay. Um, but, Done it. Yeah, cool. So, but like, sometimes it's not worth spending because they, they slowly go up at, on their own. Right. Like, just over time, they slowly increase. Uh, so, sometimes it's, wait, it's best just to wait and save your points to get an entire square because at the moment you're probably just filling up like the rest of a square and it, that's kind of inefficient to do i see so if you wait until like an entire square square is ready to be upgraded to like, okay right it's a lot more efficient um so we're just finishing the looting process nice uh yeah i mean you should be because you're on the church now so you're just wrecking that but you still have like 500 men in there so you can't even assault it just to kill it, because obviously uh, cities and cars and bishop ricks are a lot easier to s assault. Yeah, because they they don't have obviously massive walls in the way. I've lost quite a lot of men in this war. Yeah, but obviously as soon as you take this back, you'll have an entire another province to levy from. So yeah, that'll give you a whole bunch. Yeah, that of was men. giving me like a thousand, I think. Yeah, it will give you. Oh, a bunch. I've got a hundred percent. Cool. Sorry, so I've won. Thanks, nice. chat. Thanks very much. It's so small <laughs> for like an important icon. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, Enforce demands. Yeah. Send. Um, and then he, now he's imprisoned, and he you imprisoned. should be able to right click on him and revoke, revoke title. title. Yes, click on that and see if it says if anyone will be annoyed at you. I don't think they will. Uh, if you scores. don't have claim, it will cost you prestige and angular vassals, but we do have claim, don't we? Yeah, yeah, it is your claim. Uh, so yeah, you should be able to click that. Oh, um, revoke it if I. This will lower his opinion of you by minus 60%. Oh, since he's a traitor, your vassals will not object. Send. Yes. So, and, and then find him on you. If you go into intrigue, he should be your prisoner. Uh, into intrigue. And middle one. Prisoner. And yeah. you should be have some options on the right to like do to him stuff. Execute but, prisoner. Yeah, and just kill him if you want. If I right click on him, I can throw him in the obliet. Just throw him into the deepest, darkest hole in the dungeon. Forget all about him. There is no escape from it. Life expectancy is not very high down there. Or put him in house arrest. That sounds rather bad. Uh, I'm just gonna. Shall we just execute him, or or should we throw him into the abyss? He is your traitor, so. I reckon we should send a message and execute him. Yeah, no one want to betray you. Execute. Obviously, obviously, his sons and stuff will kind of be a bit annoyed at you. Uh, oh, this is gonna upset. Oh, it's going to upset the um, the county of um, Osraj. Is that your province? Traj? No, it's the ones to the uh, east of my my starting one. Ah, screw them, guys. They say they'll lower their opinion by minus 10, and the execution will cost me 20 piety. Um, right, but as long as it's not in... Is it your land, sorry, or not? Is it your count or your vassal? I guess I should say. My prisoner. Um, no, the person who won't like you as much. Is it Upset. your? No, no, no. They're they're completely brand new. Someone else. Uh, when then screw it, just kill him. Like, you're the most powerful count or duke or petty None. king, I guess, at the moment he's in just, the island. He's so. just disappeared. Okay, cool. Now delevy your men, and you should be good. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. Uh, Normally, when you conquer a province, to uh, give you the max amount of taxes and men levy, but because it was already in your territory, you don't have that debuff. Normally, it takes like four years for it to become like administratively uh, viable to be running the country. Oh, what? What's to kill him and take it over completely? No, like once once you win a province in a war, like you have a, a debuff on the amount of money you're getting from it for like four years to kind of simulate like it being brought into your empire. Uh, okay. Sense. My my Dempsey size is two in red out of one. Okay, that's because you can only control one province. 
So what you can do, you can give that to your son, or you can give it to someone else. I'll give it to my my son. Because once once you start having too much land, your vassals start becoming a little bit unhappy. I say with you. grant landed title. Yeah, we'll do that. Yep. And then you find find what one it is. Oh, and then you... oh oh wait no my um my kings become king of that one, of the one we just took. Yeah, so you currently have it, but you can give it to your son to get rid of. Because obviously at the moment you have too many provinces and your people aren't happy with that. That you can't handle more than one. At when the I go to give him land, it only yeah. has the option of giving him my original land of my starting province, not the new one I've taken. Oh, really? Um, I don't know why that is, because you hold both. Yeah. Um, hmm, that's weird. Anyone know? Like, obviously, I, I can't domain. see what you're seeing. Dempsey it... is pronounced domain. But it's not even spelt like domain. <laughs> Maybe tr okay. maybe go out of the tab and try again. Now I've clicked play. Maybe it just hadn't like registered that it's now your province. Okay. What? Well, uh, try it again now. Yeah. No, it's only got my original starting one. Really? That's weird. Cause you you hold both. Yeah. I don't really know why that is then. That is. Um. Right. So now you've delevered your men and stuff. It's should probably. I, should I give him that though? Um, well, you don't want to give him your capital because it's like kind of your stronghold. You don't want to give him Tondon Han. Yeah, that's the one he wants. <laughs> no, that's you don't the only one I've got. That's weird because you should have two in the right hand side. Uh, oh, my wife's pregnant as well. My dem seat's too big. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, just below that, there should be like uh, like a list of all your everything you own. Oh dear. Oh no. What happened? My king's got the ill trait. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's not the end of a world, like, but it does go away quite uh, quite often. It's like a 5% chance of dying and... If you hover Little over... is heir to the land you just took, so you can't give it to someone else. Little fish? No, he's not, though. They're your heirs. Yeah, I swear. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I click on little fish, he's can be, he can be given that, that county. Whereas um, my whereas my actual heir can't. Uh, maybe maybe it's something to do with your succession law in Ireland. It could be weird compared to mine. Yeah. So if we want to look at that, we want to go to the law tab and the inheritance tab. Law tab. Inheritance. Inheritance. And then if you look next to your like heir, that should say like mine's uh, Agnatic Con whatever Gavlakine. Assuming. Uh, Kiwi f Kiwi f Fly says, assuming Gavel kind succession. I've got elective Gavel kind as succession law. Oh, you've got elected. Okay, cool. So you should have like a, a nominate button uh, to the right on that tab. Like it should be somewhere. Gavel. Uh, hammer. Um, no, like up the top. If you've got elective, you should be able to nominate an air. Uh, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to see because I don't have your stream open anymore. Um, I could tab out and whip up your stream and look at what you're looking at, if that would help. No, oh, sorry, no, you have agnatic cognitive gavel kind. Look uh, next to yours. Look next to your heir's name. Yeah. On oh, sorry, I do. I have that which. Titles of the ruler are divided among his children, with the oldest getting the primary title. If the ruler has no children to inherit law. Yeah, so I think it's just split equally among all your children once you die. Um, so, I, don't think, I don't think you can change it yet, though, because you have to rule for 10 years, and we haven't yet. So we will change that. But, oh, but is that because because my, my eldest son has the title of heir, that counts as something he gets, whereas Littlefish has nothing. So yeah, he well, could be given land. Yeah, I think so. So should, I guess it would not be a good idea to give Little Fish some land. Uh, not yet, because he won't be able to control it. It'll be some regent dude. But then what do I do about the the land? Uh, you just like, keep it for now. It's giving, you, it's giving you money and it's giving you... Is oh, having yeah. a negative effect my domain? Uh, it means your people one. will dislike you, but it's not the end of the world. Like, you can keep it for a little while. Okay. Until it's sorted out. Uh, what's your prestige at now? Do you have more than 100? Um, my prestige is 94. 
So almost 100, so you can almost have a feast and have a, a mad time. It might be a good idea to send some of your battles gifts now as well. I'll send you a little bit more money as well, so you can do that. To the raffish... Oh, what the... Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I've got titles loss on succession. What one? For the county of... The, the new one I've just taken in the south. Um, that should be fine. Your son is there, so he should be able to take it. Like, sometimes it pops up with that. But your son should inherit that. I don't see why he wouldn't, right? Titles. Fine titles will be lost on succession. Oh, it means that you, you're... It's because Little Fish will get it. Because at the moment, uh, you're, right. you're yeah. splitting the land up between your family. And you currently have two provinces. So one will go to your heir and one will go to your other son. That's what it is. Um, okay. But we'll, we'll change it after 10 years of the game. So in four more years, you can change it. And you can actually just have your son... Your oldest son gets everything. And that's uh, just okay. one to have. The title heir just means you play as him next, not what land he has heir to. No, but I assume because ev because we, what you're saying is that the way it seems our our laws are set up is that kind of all my children have to inherit something. Yeah, at the moment they the they yeah the titles of his of the ruler of him. So he's obviously got the title of heir, whereas Little Fish has nothing. So that's why Little Fish has the opportunity to be granted yeah. land for both. You, like your heir will get your capital basically. Yeah. Um and. Little fish because he's like the least prioritized child out of the two. Chicken He'll just get whatever's left noodles. over. Noodles. Why don't I listen to music on stream? Because I like listening to the, like the game sounds. I like to focus on what's going on, and yeah. Plus, most of the time, yeah, exactly as Dutchop says. Unless you find some royalty-free stuff, Twitch will just mute the whole stream. Which, if I want to export this over to YouTube, I can't because my whole stream would just be muted. <clears throat> Um, let's see if you have, you might actually have a Kesai Belai on someone to declare war on them. So you just like click on the counts around you and see if you have a cause to go to war. Where will um, that show up? Uh, you just right click on the portrait of the person you want to go to war with. Oh, I've lost the, I've lost the ill trait. Right click on the portrait. Yeah, of the person you want to go to war with. Yeah. Um, and see if you can declare war. Uh, no declare war there. Because you might actually have some territory, but I don't think you do. So, which means you have to kind of wait. I don't have a Cassus Belle, uh, which is unfortunate. Because your chancellor is still trying to get, yeah, claims, isn't he? This is where it kind of slows up a little bit. But obviously, we'd be playing a lot faster than normally. Elige, peace be with you. I've discovered a plot where Earl Ragnavald of Umhumhain seeks to fabricate a claim on the petty kingdom of you. Oh, that's oh. my. That's this guy. See, I mean, oh, he won't say no. How much does he dislike you? Um, minus 18. So you want to send him some money, give him a title, and try yeah. and get him around to not trying to do that. Okay. So, so you, um, you just, just want to always just keep an eye on your battle tab, like, I every so can't, often. He's already got a, a honorary title. I don't want to grant him a landed title, do I? No, no. See if you so can send, send him money. Him money. Yeah, yeah, I can. So 35. Christ. How much relation, though? Uh, he's only minus five, opinion of me now. Oh, that's good. Um, and then, have you got 100 prestige yet? Uh, 94. So, oh, you need like a little bit more. Um, can you go on another hunt? Let's have a looky. I can not go on another hunt because... Uh, it's not September yet, but we will be able to in a couple months. So hopefully... Yeah. The hunt will give you enough prestige so that you can then do the feast and then everyone should like you. Okie dokie. And then you'll have a nice petty kingdom to rule over. Unite the clans. Okay, so you, okay. you can speed up to two now. Like okay. there's, there's not really much to be doing at the moment for you. Okay, like okay. You can be looking around trying to find a suitable wife for your son. Also, you can a like, fish. yeah, you can kind of speed that up as well by just right clicking on him, clicking arrange betrothal, and then trying to see if there's anyone good about in that tab. Arrange betrothal, no. So no one good. Not really. What are yeah. the well the eighteen, nineteen, and then there's one that's one, so she's got no traits of any kind. Yeah, that's not too good. And she's also a granddaughter of my dynasty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not good. I have to wait till I think I'm gonna have to wait till Little Fish is a bit older. Yeah, I mean, it's probably just you just need to wait a little bit, and then you're sure. Yeah. 
We've well, some... had an 18 year old arrive at the court that really doesn't like me. She is a courtier. Don't know if. What, did I do anything with her or just leave her as she is? Uh, just leave her to chill. I had a daughter. As nice. well. Oh, so we can betroth if you would like. Yeah, sure. Betroth your daughter to my little fish. Uh, yeah, I'll send it to you. Uh... Yeah. And it will result in a non aggression pact. Sweet. She's currently my heir, so if I was to die, <laughs> I inherit would, everything. Yeah, you would inherit everything. Nice. Well, you wouldn't. Ever, you wouldn't straight away inherit everything because we're not actually technically what, married what yet. What land? What um, uh, provinces do you hold? Um, if you click uh, player in like above the mini map, there's loads of tabs like yeah. for all different map modes. It's the Players. it's the last one. Oh, I see. see. So you hold everything like j which, the other which side, is colored in the Welsh border. Yeah, basically. And you can see what I control. Nice. <laughs> I would laugh so much if you killed me and just took on my land. I assassinate uh, you. Oh, what's this? Was there an army? Who's this army? Are you at war with anyone? Just check in the bottom right next to the map. This is the Earl of Tear Egonhan. No, you're not at war with anyone, so. Oh, you're just passing through. Yeah, he's just using your lands. What's this? Open council positions. Oh, my spy master, appoint a new one. Uh, for spy master, we want intrigue, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this guy, he does not. They, they, none of these people like me. Will they just like me now that I've put them into a position, though? Uh, yeah, he'll like you a little bit more. As uh, soon as you hold your feast, like, people should like you a lot more. It was kind of annoying that you had to take that minus prestige here. Uh, you should be able to go on a feast now, or a, a hunt, sorry. Okay. Oh, um, I didn't get your betrothal through. Oh, really? I did send it. Maybe I'll send it again. Uh, betrothal, my daughter, send. Should pop up now? No, nothing's popping up. Hmm, how weird. Offer me it. Just click on my flag and right click on my daughter on my portrait and arrange betrothal. And... Auto saving. Right. Click on Mercia. Uh, <laughs> right, and then your. Oh, you don't have any children? I have. Oh, maybe we're out of sync. <laughs> Maybe because I do have a child. Are you sure you're on uh, Duke Edwin of Warwick? Yeah, Duke Edwin of Warwick. Maybe we're a little bit out of sync then, but that's fine. Like I'm still, uh, I'm still giving you good advice. It doesn't really matter too much because we're it's nine o'clock already now. So it says that we're in the same dates so. though. Yeah, maybe it's just desync a little. That's not a problem. You can just save it and we can continue from where. I'm at because there's yeah. no point restarting now when it, when it's already nine o'clock. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Will I be playing this as a series on YouTube? Um, I'll be exporting these streams over while I'm learning, so yeah, we'll I'll be doing this over the next couple of weeks as I get maybe better and better, and then may maybe we'll talk about a let's play. Ah, oh, my my heir had another daughter. Bizarre. Kill Fish's daughter when you get her. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's probably because two of you went out of sync. Oh, uh, okay, fair yeah, enough. Right. Thanks. Let's um. So if I save now, will it bring you into the game at this point? Next uh, time? if you yeah yeah yeah. It will okay. just go off whatever sync data you're on. Uh, okay, cool. So you oh. won't have a daughter anymore. Uh, no. But I'm sure it won't take long for me to get one. Cool. Right, guys, that is where we're going to wrap this one up for now. Thank, big thanks to Jackie Fish for actually no explaining this all to me in a way that makes a mahoosive amount of sense, which is just fantastic. <laughs> I'll export this over onto YouTube. It'll probably, like, best case scenario, it's out tomorrow evening. Worst case, it's out Wednesday, which is also coincidentally when there's more XCOM 2 if you guys are waiting for that. So if you have been watching us on YouTube, don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming and GT Omega Racing. Also check out Jackie Fish's channel, it's linked down in the description. Go say hi. Check out his, have you got Crusader, Crusader Kings 2 stuff on your uh, channel? Not at the back? moment, but we're going to be starting a new one very soon. So nice. that should be interesting. There's like seven, eight of us, I think. So we're all playing a Game of Thrones Lord Paramount. So there's enough of us to fill the Riverlands and like every single ki like kingdom. Awesome. Well, go check that out, guys, on Jackie Fish's channel. Till next time. Ciao for now.